This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 648, Tuesdays and 14 years. We have been doing the Wrestling Mayhem Show, talking professionalized wrestling in hopefully a comical manner of some sort, or at least informative. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And with us, we got the crew. And you never know who's going to stop by. We got hats. We got, we got happy, happy 14th. Oh, I thought I was going to cue the other noise maker. Well, we do have on the line from, it's a new year. It's a new Mad Mike, and he's coming from Beacon, New York. I'm not quite having as much fun as I, I did your your old location, Mike. That's because I am the shining light on this show, Sorg, that's not named Missy. <laughs> Mad Mike's joining Happy us. Happy birthday, Mayhem! <laughs> Wow! I'm really glad. That we, since, <laughs> wow, that ended quickly. Um, that was so, that's what she said. If, mm. if somebody doesn't turn that into a gif in the next five seconds, I'm going to be very disappointed. There you go. Larry is with us as well. Hi, how's everyone hey. doing? Hey! Thank you for inviting me. I'm having a wonderful. You're time. having a wonderful time. Larry, who's been part of the show for what two years now? Uh, two or three. Something like that. How long have you been in this building? In this building? About a year and a half. Yeah, we'll say two. You built our wall at the old studio. Yeah. And then you moved out. Then I moved out six months later. <laughs> <laughs> but the wow. wow. The Way wa- to go, Sorg. I guess walls really don't work, America. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hashtag PMS. 2019. <laughs> you're, hey, the, you're the man. Okay. <laughs> I'm not you're the man. Oh. 2019. <laughs> There you go. He's got a but Mad Mike is sporting an awesome Becky Lynch shirt that I is am. probably not Check officially licensed by the WWE or by Oh, it is definitely but, not. Uh, There's way too much I, fake blood on it. I, I, f- I have a feeling Becky Lynch would not mind it nope. <laughs> at all in the in in the perfect like very punk rock of If, if she's that's... doing a meet and greet at WrestleMania, I'm wearing this to that. Are they allowed to sign like is there a policy if you show up with bootleg merchandise, like do they like rip it off your back and and, and like is that no. a thing? I mean, no, <laughs> no one cares. I don't know. I, I was hearing stories about the. I, I give enough money to them, <laughs> <laughs> which is a weird, strange cycle these days. But anyways, um, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We've been doing this for a while, and you would think we know how to podcast by now, but I still have these notes to help me along here. Uh, our thanks to our friend Basic Sickness, who I ran into a few weeks ago. Um, he's still out there. He still has music. Basic thickness. Go look him up on your your audio player. Um, you know, Google Music and, and stuff like that. His music's out there in those. Also, please go to Wrestling Mayhem. Oh, headphone headsets. Um, go, go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find links and subscribe to us in podcast and video form or look us up on your favorite platform. And please subscribe and rate us there if you dig what's going on so more people can find the show. You can also uh, drop us a line at that email address we've had for so long. Good times. Good times, <laughs> Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Uh, producer Missy from the back of the show, you must be in a good mood tonight. That's awesome. It's the noisemakers and the party hats, isn't it? I love, I'm wearing the party hat, but I'm the one you can see the least of the party hat. I, I think she started eating the cake early. Oh, is there is this special cake? I don't, don't know what's in here. I don't know what's in there. Oh boy! Coffee, uh, it's coffee and coffee and four one two two zero six WMS zero is where you can um, call us sober, drunk, give us opinions of professional wrestling, or apparently send us pre-recorded messages in some Asian language I don't understand. 
Oh, I'll do that. Have you seen those? Have you seen no. those in your email? I think I don't think they they attach to you guys anymore. No, um, they do. They I do. Just you didn't listen to them. Yeah, no, play play on those. It's not somebody with a really good question about NXT call ups. So where should we take it to get it translated? I have no idea. If you are if you are have knowledge of of Asian languages, because I don't even know which one it is. I think sword, it's Chinese. Sword. I'll listen to it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> listen, you listen to it on the break and report back to us, okay? I I I got it. <laughs> You have a guy or something? You, you, yeah, yeah, sure. You got a dude? Yeah, I got a guy. I mean, I, I, I guess. Okay. I, you know, people, people have to record Wait commentary. Are you just gonna email it to Funaki or something? Indeed. Indeed. Okay. <laughs> God, that would be amazing. That would be great. Uh, <laughs> I had another one, but we're not going there. Uh, tweet us at Mayhem Show as well. And please hit us up on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page and group. The Facebook group for Wrestling Mayhem Show is where a lot of great conversation is happening. Or we share when the link breaks for the All In, um, I'm sorry, the um, AEW uh, um, um, rally or something. Um, also tweet us at Mayhem. No, I did that part. And our uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page is where we're here live every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Now that the holidays are over. And you definitely want to be uh, involved with that in the live thing because uh, Mayhem Mania is coming up, you guys, in just oh, two man. weeks, I think. And there, there are people that we can't use anymore, and I'm excited. <laughs> exactly. Dude. Wow, it's a whole different game. And I believe if I got my weeks lined up, we do have Farnsworth uh, booked to join us the first week of Mayhem Mania. And I know he had a lot of fun with it last year. You better not fuck up. Jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah, call him out, man. Uh, so you know me. I think my Mayhem Mania quite serious. I know you do. Like, scary seriously. So do I. I've, ha- I've had my match book booked for four months. <laughs> That's not an exaggeration. I, I can't wait for Dude, this. Dude, you're lucky that that person hasn't been fired yet. Or anything. Or, 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 caught, or caught in a scandal or who knows these um, days. Once you see who my match is, you'll be like, That's a safe bet. That's a safe bet. If you booked a McMahon, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. <laughs> I don't want them on the real show. Why would I want them on the fake show? Uh, it's like your worst nightmare these days, isn't it? So, uh, Man, Missy has a hand up in the back. I will transcribe what she says. Producer of the Mayhem Missy. Uh, Tina's comment. I'm going to lose that bit here. Um, no, she says Patreon in the bank. Bring it on, fuckers. AJ likes him because of his light up masks. No, is that the sword, wrong comment? Sword. I'll, I'll read it. Okay, go ahead. She, Wait, I'm she sorry. says Patreon in the sword. She says Patreon in the bank. Bring it on, fuckers. Whoa, ah! whoa! Ah! It's getting heated in the chat room already. Jeez. And, and guess what? You you know what this means? Hmm. You froze. Uh oh. Did you freeze? Or are you doing? Dude. The- Bah, 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 bah. Did you just delay it intentionally? What happened? <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? We, we don't froze. know. We must know. Oh, I glitched out. It was yeah. too awesome for the internet. Tell us again. I, I said um, <laughs> Matt Mike's going to be donating his $1 soon. His $1? Oh, for yeah. For Patreon in the bank. Yes. Uh, sorry. yes. Speaking of Patreons, Speaking of Patreons what? I'm about to. I have it queued up ready to go. Thank you to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. You guys are super, uh, including our fan of the show, $1 level contributors, Bo Diggity. Woo! Ooh, I like that. Uh, also, <laughs> Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, and Tina Keys. Uh, I was all ready for their Patreon in the bank. Also, at the Pocky Club, $5 level, our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling, Bradley Ruthers, Doc Remedy, and Dave Potter of the Tiny Shutter Podcast. And at the <laughs> Pete. That was a shutter. And at the yeah, Pizza Club, yeah. $10 level, our friends at the Wrestling Revolution, Tony Garza, Garza joining us there as well. You guys can support the show if you're getting value out of it over at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining us and being a part of that and, and, and literally helping us keep the lights on. Actually, this month, you helped me buy new light bulbs for the lights staying on. <laughs> so that definitely helps us out. Announcement. Matt Carlin's, Matt Carlin's is on his way. Oh, Matt on, Carlin's on, on. has on, this, 
Do we have a Carlin's track? Wrestling podcast. Let's do this announcement properly. Matt Carlin's has left the building. He left his building. We'll wait for cake until Matt gets here. This is not right. too long. Who gets here first, Matt or our other guest? Our other guest? Our other guest. What other, other guest? guest? Our other host. Oh, that one. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm honestly not sure. Okay. We'll see. Who knows? By the way, I give a shout out. I am sporting the Unbreakable Sean Phoenix uh, t-shirt. This is his noggin on this shirt. Like, this is the actual um, um, uh, the, the, the x-ray. x-ray of his crack skull from, uh, from his unfortunate incident that I'm sure you've seen by now if you have Twitter and, and are a wrestling fan. Also on the back is a list of everything like all of his injuries and ailments from it. Um, so go check that out. I think it's probably on his pro wrestling teams. If not, just hit him up. He'll, he'll send it to you. Um, so support uh, Sean while he's on his road back to recovery. I know he's involved in a few shows this past weekend. Um, some announcements and some um, fire throwing. Because how else would he come back from to, to wrestling but in yeah. a fiery way? Makes sense to well, me. Well, he yes. is a Phoenix, Sorg. He is a Phoenix. Will he be at the Royal Rumble? Could Sean Phoenix be at the Royal Rumble? Let's get the speculations going right now. I've already declared for the Royal Rumble. You've so declared? Anything, uh, anything is possible. Can we declare somebody else for the Royal Rumble? Nope. They have to declare it themselves. It's a self-declaration. Cause yeah, because otherwise I'd just declare like a whole bunch of random people for the Rumble. Like why 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 isn't Kurt Hawkins declaring himself for the Royal Rumble? Come on, because let's be Kurt real. Kurt Hawkins is too busy buying figures on eBay. This is true too. This is also true. Um, <laughs> it is kind of there was uh, Alex Miller says he's in Pittsburgh. Who Kurt Hawkins? Currently, that's what he says. He Kurt? says don't tell Sorg, but I didn't read that part. So. Wait, Alex <laughs> Miller's in Pittsburgh or Kurt Hawkins? That's that. No, Alex Miller says Shh, I'm in Pittsburgh. Don't tell Sorg. Well, come on over. Seriously, get some free pizza. And get some cake. cake. Dude, yeah, do cake. We, I don't know. Is there pizza left? Did we go through there's it yet? Slices. There's, there's a like, few slices there's like left. Slices, yeah. we'll hold on to you for you. There's a, a few ounce. slices on Broadway. Yes, we are on Broadway. That's how you do it. See what I did there? Dope. <laughs> thank you. The ad's later, but thank you. I know. <laughs> Um, Sorg, it's called a tease. It is called what Foreshadowing. you're shadowing. We're teasing the ad. Foreshadowing. I, foreshadowing. I'm basically five shadowing at this. You point. know that thing they don't do on Raw. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a post shadowing actually, because they will have a thing happen and then tell you about it five times during the rest of the show. And five times. Week. Yeah, but having five the thing times. happen and alluding times. to something happening five is times. totally different. Five, five times. times. Five times. Five times. Five times. <laughs> Jeez. So the big news today, um, there was a rally. We'll call it a formal protest. A formal protest of professional wrestling. No, of sports uh, entertainment. Of sports entertainment. Oh, I like that, actually. Formal protest we'll call of it a sports small entertainment. Gathering. That feels, that feels ag- what? A small gathering. We'll call it a small gathering. It was a good-sized gathering. I mean. Eh, it was so it not if you saw the overhead shot. It was a smattering of people that it are great. interested in professional wrestling. It looked great on the internet, with the exception of that one dude who wouldn't put his flag down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know who you are. <laughs> Regardless how many people were there, just a walking distance from SmackDown. We see you with your Daniel Bryan t-shirt. Um but there were over 4,000 people watching at a time online, so I think that's what matters here, yes. right? More than the people that were there. Um, although they get the can- they get the photo ops and everything, but other than that, um, they announced AEW, of course, on New Year's Eve. So this is all new news since we've been on the show last, so we haven't really had a chance to talk other than in the Wrestling Man Show group and on Twitter and everything. But um, so they had their they had their their announcements and everything, and you know I'm not gonna talk about production values uh for a streaming event that went down by the way (laughs) early while they were preparing for it um i don't know the other guy but conrad from you know all your favorite wrestling podcasts that don't involve Cole cabana um or he's not from this podcast i I say or us or us uh it was uh one of the kind of presiding over the event as well Um, kind of is the operative word uh, (laughs) i am not anti-conrad no, but I'm just saying, for something that they announced so far in advance, mm-hmm. you think it'd be a touch more organized. Yeah, the live production's tough, and 
But I would think being the organization that's behind it um, with their uh, stadium right in the background, there would have been a little more maybe resources. Oh, really? Was that about the Jacksonville Jaguars? Because it was really difficult to tell. (laughs) Is this this promotion going to bring back cheerleaders? And are they going to borrow them from the Jacksonville Jaguars in the offseason? I think they already have. Okay. Are you ready for the All Elite Girls? Not really. No, no. no. So I wasn't sure about that part. Um, Friend of the show, uh, Britt Baker, was there. That was good to see. Doctor. Doctor. I'm sorry. Doctor. I knew her before the uh, the doctorate. Was it DMS? DMS, I think. No, DMD. DMD? I think it's officially DMD. 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 Britt Baker, DMD. Yes. I should know this because my cousin also (laughs) went to the same dental school. Uh, But... uh, (laughs) There was a lot of pyro. <laughs> There's a lot, definitely a lot of pyro. Uh, Alex has let us know 4,000 uh, on Facebook, 40,000 on YouTube, and 20,000 on Twitter. And DMD, they, we were confirmed DMD in the chat room too. So everybody watch this. Um, big announcements. I uh, you know, they kind of went through everybody. Um, uh, Double or nothing, the pay-per-view will be at the MGM Grand, which I believe is where uh, Halloween Havoc used to be, right, guys? Uh, back uh, yeah. in the day. It's a, it's a lovely casino. I, a, I went there a couple of years ago. Pretty good venue, right? Yeah, it's where Floyd Floyd Mayweather has all of his boxing matches. A very serious venue. Um, so that's, I mean, is this is this a step up from the Sears Center? No. No? Like kind of I, don't think, I, don't think, I don't think it holds as many people. Okay, but still, like being in Vegas and everything is kind of a big deal. Um, yeah, I, mean, I mean, they're definitely going to get a sellout there just because everyone in Vegas is looking for something to do. Uh, we saw SCU, um, Daniels, Kazarian, and uh, and that other guy, Scorpio? Scorpio Sky. Scorpio Sky. I, I always want to say Too Cold Scorpio for some reason, so I pause. I, I that, need to get That's over. probably good in the long run. So. <laughs> that's true. Um, we had uh, Neville Pack come out. Oh, actually, no. It is, it's a bigger venue. I apologize. It is a bigger venue. That's 16,800. Because it was a big deal. Because listen to a recent Eric Bischoff podcast. Like, that was a big deal for them for, for the draw and everything. Because it was, like, like a bigger venue, right? So. Yeah. So that will be good to see that that's happening. Um, they also announced a second show that was going to be in Jacksonville supporting gun violence. I think there was some. Uh, I think Cody has been involved in some conversations. Well, not supporting gun violence. I bet. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> The proceeds are going to victims of gun violence. I don't think, I, Mike, I think you can hear, but I think we broke my uh, producer Missy in the background. Oh, I heard her. Oh, I heard her. <laughs> She's... I heard her. Either way, it's a good cause. Anti-gun violence supporting Supporting wrestling. the victims. Supporting the victims violence. of gun violence. Yes. Thank you. Jeez. Serious topic, and we screw it up on this show, of course. Uh, up, happy 14th. <laughs> <laughs> May- Wrestling Mayhem <laughs> show supporting gun violence for 14 years. Yes. Oh. Um, <laughs> bang bang. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, um, that's that that that's a clip that's going to get me in trouble later. Um, it's going to get me in trouble. Later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, there is uh, that Pac, like I mentioned, uh, came out with some belt. Um, I imagine it's uh, whatever. Where did you just get a belt from? Like somewhere in. One of the one of the England progress progress maybe maybe, maybe? I don't maybe. know maybe I don't know he, he might have ju- he might have just sculpted a belt from his abdominals <laughs> that could be too uh, showed up in gear ready to wrestle yep I don't think anybody told him there's no ring surprise it's like there's somebody um, it's just like there was sh- somebody he, showed up here he, last week expecting a wrestling show no wrestling show what's that. He does not need a ring to fight. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He's but the man that gravity forgot. He doesn't even need floor. He's the man that pants forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me he may not have showed up if they're in a much cooler climate. No, I don't think that would have mattered. No. 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 Um, what else? Who else got announced? Um, Chris Jericho. Yeah. Was he- kind of the uh, the Apple one more thing of this. Uh, yeah, he he was he was Nick Fury showing up. You know what that means at the end of the Avengers. What does that mean? We can still use Jr. for Mayhem Mania. It's just, really? He's not signed yet. Not oh, yet. God. Let's let's uh, hottest let's free agent. Gold Jr. I I don't know about hottest, but 
He's a free agent. I mean, because he's not doing access, right? No. So his contract's up. His contract's up. Are they just going to use the Kevin Kelly announcing? Uh, he, has, he he can't do it. He can't sign any new contracts until his WWE contract's up in uh, March. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so he's just up on that and, and just torn out at this point. So, okay. Um, Dragon Gate. They say Dragon Gate, Alex, in the, in the chat room. For, oh, uh, that's, right. that's right. That's yeah. right. But, so Pac Neville, I, we got to get used to calling him Pac again. I guess uh, I've never sorry, called him. I'm you've never, you've never called him. Pac. I think that's a ridiculous name. <laughs> it's also like kind of pre when you knew him, right? Just so. think of his abs, and you'll remember his name. X Pac. Yeah, it's yeah, a ridiculous X-Pac. name. Yeah, yeah, he's ruined that name for everyone. Tupac. I think of Tupac. He's he's kind Tupac. of one. He's kind of one Pac or six uh, uh, six Pac. He should he should really be careful because people named Pac performing in Vegas it doesn't work out well for them. Oh yeah. Um, let's see what what other announcements. No Kenny Omega announcements. Um, no TV announcement. No TV announcement. Just the two shows. Like presumably this one's going to be a pay per view like the first one. Um, sec, sec, uh, second one's in Jacksonville, right? First yeah. one's Vegas. Second one's Jacksonville. Yeah, I think so. They there was a really big push for equal pay for the wrestlers and paying the wrestlers better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Which I mean, that that's great for the company. Mm-hmm. I don't think that necessarily should be part of this rally because at the end of the day, why the hell do we care? I I, I think it's a statement. Uh, women's the women's equality, no, I, for I, no, instance, I know, is I know a really that. big one. I know that, but. At the end of the day, that has nothing to do with their actual, like, product that we see on screen. Uh oh, Missy, Missy is uh, producer. Missy has stepped up to the microphone that I'm going to turn up right now. And, and I'm, unfortunately, I can't hear Mad Mike right now because I took my ears away. There's ears right there. But um, yeah, the the women's thing with all of the women's movement stuff that's happening right now, that was actually something that I <laughs> was really excited about. Um. Because it's literally the only place where women are being treated on a completely equal balance as their male co-part. And the fact that Britt Baker was one of the first signed Mm -hmm. and the first announced signed, I think is also huge as far as the women's movement is concerned. They they also, when she was talking about how they're putting over that, you know, she is a doctor and kind of the, the, you know, put over all the thing. Like, like, yeah, she's not just some bimbo that's in practically nothing in the ring. She's an intelligent woman who has pursued her passion both in the ring and outside the ring, becoming a doctor that, you know, the sky is the limit as far as what this woman can do. And Mm -hmm. we're focusing more on that fact than just the, oh, she's pretty type of aspect that wrestling has traditionally had with with, with women performers. Absolutely. Hi. She's kind of like she's kind of like the progressive spokesperson for for the for the the Fed right now. Exactly, and I think that it's a smart move on their and, part. And Brandy Rhodes is too. Oh, absolutely, but Brandy Rhodes versus actually like I'm I'm not familiar with Brandy's career mm-hmm. and to have somebody who's actually gone through all of the training and all of the work and all of everything that building a name for herself in a male dominated mm-hmm. platform like that, I think speaks volumes and, ha- and it's amazing that they're focusing on that. Mm-hmm. And, and Brandy, there was actually, I think a lot of good discussion with her because she talked about how she's had a business degree. I think it is right. And, um, she has had a business degree and she's like, I finally get to use it as the, as the branding officer and everything, uh, as part of this promotion too. Which, again, goes to, like I said, just it reinforces the fact that you're not just a pretty face sitting around here. We're going to use your talents and abilities that you obviously have and bring to the table, and we're going to treat you as an equal that everybody else is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, so it, I just hope it, I just hope it translates to their in-room product. Yeah. Is, do we get, that's the kind of thing. None of this matters if we don't have a good show that everybody wants to watch in the end, right? So it kind of has to be a big deal. Yeah, and, and it's a selling point to people who haven't signed yet because Absolutely. they still don't even have close to a full roster. Like Matt Carlins is in the chat room saying, I, I think the pay stuff is a play to the current WWE guys and probably also a play to the, to the indie guys too that are like maybe like working for other promotions and not getting a full living wage out of it. I, I uh, still wonder, like, because guys like Chris Jericho, mm-hmm. he must be taking a severe pay cut. It feels like it, doesn't it? Yep. You never know. Like maybe, maybe you know. Again, looking at who's behind this, there might be a, lot, a bigger pit of money for them to work with. Um, 
that the you know I can't imagine he's getting like you know Saudi Royal Rumble money. But still, he's getting something significant to be a part of something like this, and maybe he wants to build something. Also, Matt Carlins, are you texting while you're driving in the chat room? He might be at a red light. You he could be that. at. I mean, he could be at. Red, there's a lot of red lights on. 51. As far as that, the the pay thing is concerned with Jericho. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Jericho found enough value in the promotion and what is what his role in it is that if he is taking a pay cut, he was willing to take that pay cut. Mm-hmm. So I think that there are other factors that we kind of need to take into account there. Um, Again, I think that a lot of it is a nice dig against competitors. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I, th- I think that that plays a lot with it. This is a good point, Ty Cross, um, in the chat room, saying Jericho's words were, uh, I'm not here for the money. I already have the money. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just think it's... He's got a stake. Know. Some way, one way or another, he has a stake. If nothing, if nothing else, he gets to go on TV in America and plug his merch over on Hot Topic and play. Yeah, his music. I can't imagine and he's not like an investor or something like that and getting like a cut of stuff. Like you maybe he has the same exact salary. Um, other uh, and other people involved. Uh, thank you, Alex, for reminding me. Uh, Joey Janela, Penelope Ford, both a part of this. MJF is a part of this. MJ, M. Jeff Sorg. M. Jeff. His name is M. Jeff. M. Jeff? He doesn't like being called M. Jeff, so we will call him M. Jeff. Ah, okay. Gotcha. And again, this is a guy that we saw stop through here at IWC. Um, he was a part of the uh, Dojo Pro that uh, we talked about earlier in the year with our friend Rob Johnston. Um, that was that was kind of my first views of him. I know he's been around the Indies and doing a lot of great stuff uh, before that. Like amazing. He was on All In, too. He was all in All In, yes. Um, so that, that makes sense. I mean, really, I think if you're looking at like first, first round draft picks, we'll look at the all in pay-per-view and figure out well, who's, I mean, who's not signed to somebody else exclusively or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, literally everyone that was announced today was on all in. So it wasn't really too many surprises. Mm-hmm. Well, I like think Joey, Joey Janela was a good surprise, but that was a good that, one. MJF was a good good get in an introduction, if you didn't know. But again, I think they're looking at the audiences that already kind of knows who those people are. Jericho's mm-hmm. the big like mainstream. That's going to get the headlines, right? Um, well, especially if they don't get Kenny Omega, mm-hmm. at least right now. Yeah. So I'm, I I think maybe something may still be in the works for that. They, they did have mentions about um, talking to Japanese talent. That doesn't mean Omega, but that could mean a few a few people left. So I don't. Well, Brandy so. was the one saying that specifically. What Kushida is uh, yeah. coming over to the U.S., so he might be doing that. What's that? Kushida. Kushida, right? He, he's there. He's Wait, like, no, Kushida. I thought was the there, one to go to WWE. Yeah, because there's rumors like, of Kushida oh, coming. Oh, to that's right. Draft. Like it's already like one of them's coming to 205 Live or yeah, something. That's what you're right. That so, was. Um, uh, oh, uh, MJF is actually trained at Kurt Hawkins School as well, says Tina. So oh. good. I uh, don't know that. <laughs> wait, 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 Larry. Larry's making some faces over there about that. <laughs> okay, don't <laughs> let the persona. <laughs> Of, do you think Cassius Ono is a bad trainer because of how he's 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 on TV? <laughs> no, no, no. That just means he's there to help. Just uh, <laughs> all right. Let's move on. <laughs> Kurt Hawkins, despite representation on television, is a fine trainer, and actually, a lot of great talents have come out of his school. So, fact. Norman Smiley has trained some of the best. Damn it, the Big Wiggle himself. Stop making that noise. Our former mascot. Our former mascot of this show some years ago. Stoke Not Stoke Monkey. No, Stoke you Monkey know, is the everlasting mascot. That guy is wearing a Matt Hardy t-shirt. That Did guy, you see that? That guy waved at me as he walked in that direction five seconds ago. Where's he going? I don't know, but he. I want him to come in and tell us about how he likes maybe, the Hardy boys. Maybe he just... You want me to go ask him? Go ask phone. him. Go really? get him. No, no. <laughs> Probably not, it's probably not a he good seemed, idea. He seemed nice. They seem nice. He they smiled always, and waved at They me. always seem nice when they're waving you from outside a window where it's cold. Actually, it's like 60 degrees. but still. It's really windy, though. It's really windy. Was his hair blowing in the wind? No, the wind was going the opposite direction. Was he slapping a tornado? No, he was waving at me. All of these are great. What's wrong with you two? <laughs> what do you mean, what's wrong with us? This is... Listen. It's been this a is, Putting over it's Kurt Hawkins and talking about slapping wind? show. This has been 14 years. You know what? You know what? A lot of people help us support the show here. Like our good friends at IndieWrestling.us. 
Wait, that was we're, the wrong we're context. We're still in the intro, aren't we? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are we? The show hasn't started yet? No, we started like a half an hour Why ago. Why go home? Time this is, is what we've been doing. Circle. Trust me. Time is a flat circle. <laughs> I can't handle this shit. It's been 14 years. It's been 14 years, Yars. Um, stop, stop saying you like the woman in the beginning of Titanic. <laughs> it's been 14 years. <laughs> See, Jen Carlin, serial killers are nice at first. Then they're Yeah, all they want is some cereal. Then they're wearing a Larry suit. What? It, put, it puts the lotion on its podcast. Mm. Oof. Oof. Flashback. I've been reading Preacher and it got real weird. Uh, anyways. Uh, <laughs> oof. Uh, indie Wrestling.us. What if there were a network for indie wrestling? <laughs> and not like 15 of them. Like there, there is for the WWE. What if we told you that you can find some great indie wrestling content on Indie Wrestling US Network? Whether you're looking for wrestling shows or behind the scenes content like Duke and Doe's Hardcore Memories, currently scheduled, by the way, to record new episodes this week. Um, also, Breakfast with Champions, new episodes coming out for that very soon. The Legend of Virgil. Um, and there's new content added weekly uh, for a limited time. You can get a seven-day free trial at www.indywrestling.network, and you can he- check it out for yourself. Including this week, we have new episodes up. Uh, I mean, new shows up with Rise Wrestling, uh, including a fantastic. A uh, 30-minute-plus match between Lee Moriarty and Matt Conrad, another wrestling classic for 2019, um, and so much more, as well as Black Diamond Wrestling featuring our friends uh, Rev Ron Hunt, Chris LaRusso, um, and uh, a returning Sean Phoenix getting involved with that as well. Um, a lot of great stuff there from IWC, the International Wrestling Cartel, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, our friends at World Weight Wrestling and Premier Championship Wrestling, as well as some classic content from Pro Wrestling Ohio with Johnny Gargano, uh, Gregory Iron, um, and so many more before you got to see them on TV. Go check it out, New Network. Over 70 hours of content. Actually, I think we're over 80 hours now that I think about it. And, and and so much more. Um, go check it out and, uh, and and see a lot of our friends of the show in action over there. Support another way to support and experience indie wrestling. Um, new shows, uh, including RWA, IWC, Rise Wrestling, are now um, going to be released day and date with the uh, video video on demand releases, so you can get them on there. Also, Uprise, there's a new show, a new Uprise coming out this month. Uh, that will be exclusive to the network that you can see. Uh, network. Go check it out. And I <laughs> and this was relayed from producer Missy. Ty Cross says you can find out who he is by watching Rise Wrestling. <laughs> over at Indie Wrestling Network. <laughs> I'm still not going to do that. I'll watch Rise Wrestling, but I'll literally skip over anything that mentions a tie or a cross. That's okay. He's, 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 he's how about you? I mean, you, but don't skip the <laughs> Flannimal House or uh, System Elite match. Who is that? Is that a? What? Oh, oh, no. We are about to have an invasion here. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're <laughs> taking bum, over. Bum, bum, bum. Yes. Matt Carlins is done texting in his car. And he is with us here. Matt Carlins, welcome to the Mayhem Show. There is cake. There is cake. Uh, let's say, go have a sit down. No one will believe that then alcohol he away. has not been involved with this no, show. No, no alcohol in this show at all. Just this just is a dry hats, show. Hats, noisemakers, and cake. We can't. We can't really speak to producer Missy in the back at least, though. But Matt Carlins, you were with us just in time. Actually, Matt's drunk. He just drove here. Matt's, yeah. no. <laughs> and he has to go to work tonight, so there's there's that too. Are you wearing a Sam Adonis t shirt? Yeah. There you go. Represent. Did you El Grudo de las Chicas? Did you see that new show that he just shared? Oh yeah. <laughs> I wanna go and give Pentagon a big freaking hug. <laughs> Because he seems like the hugging type. I, that's why I want wait, wait, wait. Only one of us send it to uh, El Hijo del Dario Cueto and be like, Pentagon hugged me. <laughs> that's all I want now. Uh, Matt and Mike, Man, you're the only one just here. Watch your arm. Just watch your arm. Watch, watch your arm. arm. <laughs> that's why I get the arms around and they can't get to it. There you go. You won't Matt, know what to do. Matt and Mike, uh, you're the only one here who has uh, had a conversation with Pentagon. Is he the hugging? Do you, did, did you feel like he might have been the hugging type? Is he a hugger? Um, well, 
he wasn't wearing a Bailey shirt. Okay. That's a- usually my, it's usually my typical indication as to whether someone involved in pro wrestling is or is not a hugger. Okay. Um, I believe he's a solid fist bumper. Oh, is that so that so that is definitely translatable south of the border. Yes. Yes. F- fist bumps are universal, just like math. See, I'm gonna go like I'm gonna have someone standing by with the camera just to get it. I'm gonna do like the like the like the like the bring it in, you know, oh. and then just bring it in, and then whenever he comes in thinking it's just gonna be kind of like the pat pat, it's gonna be like, like that. Jen wants to know what uh, Pentagon smells like. I do not recall. He smells like Cerro I was, I was frozen in fear. Mm. And bagel bites. And no, no, they hadn't had the bagel bites gimmick yet. Are you sure? Yes. Mm. I guess that was season three when I rolled in, huh? No, that yeah. was season two. No, that was three. It was three. It was three. It was season three. That's right. Trust me, I I had I had to get a sling membership and watch all of Ultimo Lucha two on shitty hotel Wi Fi so I could discover that Pentagon Junior turned into Pentagon Dark and actually ask him about it. Oh. The Man, that before. is that is your journalistic integrity right there. I love it. Hell yeah. I love it. Yeah, that's that's a that's a pure that's but Matt, you gotta respect that that journalism. Feeling it. <laughs> Feeling I did journalism. Fake news, dog. So, Matt, I believe, uh, did you watch Wrestle Kingdom? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. I, I watched, like, I, I watched the, the high points. I, I saw the big four matches. You saw the big four. You got yeah. saw the big four. Did Larry see Wrestle Kingdom? Uh, We're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. <laughs> Somebody... Calendars, calendars. Time and- zones are a tricky thing, Matt. <laughs> it's t- remember, remember, y'all. It's today in Japan before it's today here. That's yes. all Time you really is a need. flat yeah. circle. Yeah. I, I thought it was it's today already in Japan after it was today in Japan. Here. It's already tomorrow. Right. So, so yeah, there was a the incident where I found myself at four a.m. watching Wrestle Kingdom by myself because. <laughs> Larry but thought hey, it was the wrong but day. Hey, you got to play some Fire Somebody Pro else. with me. I, so. did, I did. You did. You came early for the pre-party. Yeah. And we played Fire Pro. Did you watch World uh, Tag in, Jap- in Japanese? Mm-mm. No, no, nope. we didn't. No do World Tag. No, we, oh, play, we played no. Fire Pro in Japanese. Yeah, for that's a while, what we did. and then we figured out how to translate. And then, and then I worked on. It's an acceptable. And then I edited the podcast that it was Zeke Mercer that I had just done. Um, yeah, that's a. And I ain't afraid to say the gameplay on Fire Pro highly overrated. Highly overrated. overrated. Really? Really? Like, Sorg, we couldn't barely make contact with each other on that game. Okay, that was a little weird. It yeah. was completely weird. Yeah. I mean, it's cool that it's that people can make, like, every wrestler under the God's hot sun um, in this game. But, like, as far as, like, getting into the game and playing it, uh, but Matt, the thing, Matt, our sources are telling us that Omega put you to sleep. Omega put me to sleep? Uh, well, I had been up all night, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, that doesn't, I mean, that's not Omega's fault. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, you so 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 bad is if anybody is attuned. I tell you what. I tell you what kept me awake though was was the the wife watching it downstairs screaming every five minutes because Tanahashi just threw himself through a table at ringside. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, he's broken in half. I think I think Tanahashi won won over Jen at yeah. Wrestle Kingdom thirteen. That's good. Fifty That's good. year old Tanahashi. No, he's not that old. But he might be. He's he's like John Cena old. Except much better looking right yeah, now, he, he, and better hair, and better, hair, better hair choices, yeah, better yeah. shape, more handsome. So we're in, go- so in far better transformation. John movies. Cena is slowly <laughs> turning into John Laurinaitis. <laughs> oh, oh, he's turning into JBL. <laughs> that's not a better. Oh job. wait, oh if he's turning into John Laurinaitis, that's how he's going to get Nikki Bella back. Yep. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. No, that tracks. Yep. Okay. Every. Every woman falls in love with a version of her father. In law. <laughs> Thank you. That's stepfather. That's a technically, right? stepfather. Yeah, that's what he was going for there. Yeah. I think oh it's... no, Dave! I don't want that. Dave, I don't want that at all. Still getting it. All right. You're getting, um, it. You're getting it. I don't. I don't want that at all. Delete. Delete. We're, we're talking about SmackDown uh, stuff. Going SmackDown. On right now. Uh, apparently, two matches have been booked for the Royal Rumble. Uh, it's the bar versus Shane and Miz, and also Asuka versus uh, the man on my T-shirt. Hmm. Um, speculation. Okay, that's depressing. No, know. it's not speculation. It's it, that's you know what? That's what's I'm, scheduled. O- I'm okay with that. If the women's Royal Rumble is the main event, 
Yes, flip it. Flip it. Open with the Men's Royal Rumble. Yes. Blow everybody's I, I, mind. I think, I think the reason Mad Mike is so concerned and the reason everyone's kind of like this is giving everyone pause is that we're all trying to figure out how we get from Becky Lynch versus Asuka at the Rumble to Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey in the main event at WrestleMania, and it doesn't compute. So it does that's not. what everyone is struggling with right now. Like, and, and how, how is this supposed to work? And how we're going to keep Charlotte out of that match? How do we keep Charlotte out of this match? And none of it adds up. Well, so no, see, I'm just letting you guys. You know, I mean, we might. I, I I just think we all need to take a minute here, take a deep breath, and at least entertain this thought in our minds that we may not be getting Becky versus Ronda in the main event. You stop that. You have to at least Matt, take a moment, take a deep breath. And just accept that you're ruining we the birthday might party. Matt, get we Matt, might get Ronda versus festive. Charlotte instead. You it are, might be Ronda versus Charlotte instead. That's pissing. all I'm saying. It might be Ronda versus Charlotte instead. You're I'm pissing sorry. all nope. over the birthday cake. <laughs> I'm just piss saying, on the birthday cake. It's better to say it now and get everyone ready for it than to have to have this conversation eight weeks into Mayhem Mania and Matt, no one's having a Matt, hard time. It is going to be the day before my actual birthday at WrestleMania. I am getting that match. If you if if things are not leading towards that match at WrestleMania, I think you're going to have a Daniel Bryan level backlash from the audience. A WrestleMania thirty oh, level no, backlash. Okay, 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 okay. It all will right, be all right, all right. Since since this cat's all the way out of the bag now. All right, all right. So since so we're getting, be, since I mean, we're getting Becky versus Oscar at the Rumble, is Becky going to be in the in the Rumble match thing? Oh yeah, she's going to fuck up uh, Carmella. I just in. hope they don't have the women's rumble first. Depends no, no, no. She could always Depends win the men's rumble. No, the women rumble. are the main event. We've we've you know firmly established that. I, I will be okay with so. I will be okay with Becky Lynch winning the men's rumble and beating Brock Lesnar. <laughs> I have no problem. I'll with that. settle. I'm I'll okay. take I'm that. Also on board also, with that. Also okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yep. All right. The man is the new universe. Like, oh, how do we how do we get there? Like she has to be in the rumble match, right? Which one? Uh, so Daniel she's going to get so so if Becky has the match with Oscar at the Rumble. Yeah. And something happens mm -hmm. and someone screws Becky out of the title, perhaps a former MMA fighter of some repute. Um, and then Becky comes into the room. Maybe they are going. They're going like, Tito Ortiz? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> and if they if, maybe that maybe Only WWE is like. Maybe they're setting this up like, ah, we're going to do this just like Daniel Bryan, except this time we're not going to screw it up and get Rey Mysterio booed. We're going to get this right this time. <laughs> no, they're going to get Rey Mysterio booed. Uh, no, <laughs> Becky can't be the 30th entrant because that's Carmella. That's, that's what true. I'm saying. She could be 25. Who gives a crap? Carmella yes. can yes. get injured. Yes. Honor oh, says, Pun. we combine the titles at WrestleMania as part of the shakeup. Honor, <laughs> no. Um... <laughs> All right, all right. Here's another one. Okay, all right. Here, here's here's the idea. All right, I, here's how we get there. All right. <laughs> I gotta roll Becky, back. Gotta... Becky versus Oscar goes early in the show. Yeah. Becky beats Oscar, uh -huh. gets the title back. They have the Rumble match. Becky shows up in the Rumble, wins the Rumble as the SmackDown champion. Shows up on Raw channel, challenges Ronda title for title at Mania. Main I event. I love that. That's good. That's how you. Get all right. There. there you go. That's but, good. Uh, there's another way this can go. The wrong way. <laughs> well, no, no. I'm the Rey Mysterio saying gets right booed way. way. <laughs> <laughs> either way, either way, Rey Mysterio is going to get booed, and he's just like, "I'm not right. even in the right division. What's happening?" It's life. not like we're going directly from the Royal Rumble to WrestleMania. No, you got Fastlane in there's, Cleveland, baby. There's a little thing called the Elimination Chamber. Oh, that too. Shit. Yeah. So. Any number of But that things can't get can her onto there. the other show. Like nope. only the Rumble or McMahon. can easily transmit Becky onto the other show. So But it's... see here I, I just want whoever wins the Rumble to win the title at WrestleMania. Oh <laughs> I'm loving in the chat room because the Carlins are trying so to Carmella decipher wins the Rumble and wins the title at WrestleMania. You're good? Yes. Okay. All right. Carmella was everyone. great. Come on, Larry. Carmella was great. She's been she's been a better book champion than Ronda. Wait, I need I need whoa, I need look. Whoa, shut up, whoa, Larry's. Whoa. I need Larry's <laughs> reaction. Larry, Carmella is a, a Carmella's a good. Carmella had a good title run. Really? <laughs> <laughs> she did. I, don't, I, don't, I can't even see Did the reaction. She? I don't care what it is. I stand by it. 
I don't know about that, Mike. <laughs> I do. The, best. the visual on that was amazing. <laughs> uh, You're right over there. Beach. I'm sweaty now. Mike. <laughs> How many times did Ronda beat Charlotte? Once by DQ. Oh my <laughs> goodness! Uh, this isn't gonna stack up. I, I can't. I can't carry on. This so back to Wrestle Kingdom, Matt. Yeah. What were oh, your wait, thoughts? We were what else that? happened on Wrestle Kingdom? All right. Yeah. Let me tell you something. When you stayed awake. Jay White is hot fire. Oh my god. I didn't think like he had it in him because I I saw that match that he had with Tanahashi a year ago. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell is this shit? Um, but <laughs> dude, he has got it locked. in. In. And mm -hmm. I'm, I haven't been watching New Japan on the regular, so I've not fully experienced the full Switchblade evolution. Yeah. But, man, he showed up at, like, New Year's Dash. Yeah. And he cut that promo <laughs> and told Tanahashi to drag his dead body into the ring so he could beat him up again. And Tanahashi did. And <laughs> cut just great promo. Damn it. Breathe with the switchblade, Sorg. You never. It's like NXT. Don't worry about who's going off to the to the to the to the motherland of WWE yeah. or whatever. There He's will the be new plenty top, top foreigner. There yeah. are plenty of people. You have you have Jay White. You have Juice. You. I, yeah. I just mean, those two. That's I'm good. not worried about this. And I, uh, I I know what you really want me to talk about. Okada short shorts. <laughs> Woo! Tell me about the short shorts. Them thighs though. <laughs> You guys, Did you guys it make saw it the rain? meme of the of the like the soccer fans yeah. watch. Oh yeah. my god, that is so funny. There was there was legitimately uh, so, and I don't know the history that he was not wearing the shorts th in the past year. He showed up with long pants like a year ago for the first time. I okay, think. probably like he's been wearing these because he wasn't doing that at the show. Long pants ever since, uh -huh. and dude, just like wear your damn shorts, Okada. There was a hush. On, in the audience, like everybody was like, oh. oh, oh, it's like when the Undertaker came back as the dead man. Like, no, you, <laughs> you know what it is, guys. This is typical. If you've ever watched Dragon Ball Z, it's like when Piccolo drops his weighted clothing. <laughs> Alex Garth, hashtag thigh maker. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, I love you. And now I'm getting sweaty yeah. again. Um, <laughs> Alex, make that a T-shirt. I, yes. I freaking love Okada. I love him more every single time I see him. He is. Mm -hmm. I. You know what? In, in, in like a, in a few more years from now, maybe five years, maybe ten years, we're gonna talk about him the same way we talk about Shawn Michaels and Ric Flair. Wow. He's that freaking good. I, I think so. Be accompanied by Suzanne Summers for his He's next big match. Awesome. And um, <laughs> there it is. It, it hit with Larry. Freaking awesome. Sorg's cringe was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what else was there? Um, I'm gonna have to take this hat off. Uh, I, I I can't I can't. <laughs> Jericho Naito. Jericho Naito. Um, are, that, have you help, help accepted? Me. Have you accepted Judas as your favorite Jericho <laughs> entrance thing now? <laughs> Is it better no, than Breaking World? No, no. It's pretty good. I can't do it. No. I can't do the, it. They got the lighting synced in with it now, and it's Don't awesome. It will never be better so than Breaking awesome. No. What was that, Mike? It sounds too similar to Don't You Wish You Were Me. It's also a problem. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, I like it. When he was in WCW, he came out to freaking Pro Jam ripoff, so it was, it was fine, That's too. That's true, so. too. That's true, it, too. <laughs> in WCW, everyone came out to Pearl Jam ripoffs. <laughs> Pearl Jam and Nirvana ripoffs. That's just, it was the it, 90s. Those are your options. Either yeah. in WCW, you either get, would you like a Pearl Jam ripoff for your entrance theme, or would you like Jimmy Hart to write you a song? And you just had to make that decision, and you were like, mm, uh, Pearl Jam ripoff, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Wait, let me hear this Jimmy Hart thing. Can Jimmy Hart do a Pearl Jam ripoff? Oh, no, only. no, not no, no, not from that region. Um, that that big Pearl Gentry ripoff. Um, <laughs> Jericho, oh, that's, a cut, that's a deep cut joke. Jericho Naito, I loved more than Jericho Omega. Really? Yes, I will put it above Jericho Omega. Is it because big of the no DQ stiff sword? They were both no DQ. Jericho yep. Omega? Yep. Um, they were both I mean, they might as well have been. They were essentially yeah. the no, same it, kind it of match. It was booked as an ODQ. I think it's, okay. very, it's very clear. We were talking about this. It's very clear that it's a, well, Jericho is not going, you know, is not going to try to do a 40-minute Omega, you know, whoever match for this. But, man, can he throw an ODQ match. He, he has a, I don't think he's had a uh, normal rule match 
over there yet. Is that true? Yeah, because la- last he, Wrestle Kingdom he's against definitely Dido. done a lot of smoke and mirrors. I don't know. Was his did, did he do no DQ versus Evil? Uh, or did he have a straight up match know. with Evil? The fir- no, the I did watch that. That the was... first one with Nido was no DQ. Oh yeah, at, uh, I'm Dominion. not sure that the Evil one was no DQ, but there was a lot of outside. Not as much mm-hmm. as at Wrestle Kingdom. I mean, look, Jericho's getting up there. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors. Yeah, but um, going to be. Hey, you can still get over on that lion salt. So good for him. So, uh, that yeah, it's gonna be a sad day when he can't. Oh my god, that day when he (laughs) can't do that thing anymore. (laughs) When he's still trying, but he can't do it anymore. He's gonna have to get over. He's gonna have an X-ray of his head on his T-shirt. Somebody doesn't have. (laughs) Gonna have to have a talk with him. Be like, Chris, you can't do the lion salt anymore. I'm like, come on, Um, (laughs) come on, baby, come on. What do you mean? (laughs) Naito, don't Uh, you wish you were me? He's gonna just be a head like in in a jar. (laughs) <laughs> um, on the topic of um, top foreigners in, in New Japan, yes, y- you down with that Will Ospreay now? I'm, oh, oh, dude, yeah. I would never not down with Will Ospreay. <laughs> He's badass, Come man. Come on. He's, I, I love that we're just getting like super villain pose downs at this point. <laughs> yeah, I know. They I just mean, keep, I'm going to throw you on your head, and he lands on his feet like a cat every time, and Ibushi's like, like, they like, Ibushi's like half turn around. He's like, he landed on his feet again, didn't he? I mean, check behind me. Ibushi, oh, yeah, Ibushi and Osprey <laughs> is like if you took the insane fight. It's 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 like if you took Batman versus Superman, got rid of the shitty story, and you just had like that is the badass superhero fight you wanted, mm-hmm. right? And you got the looks, you got the you know that that's it. So you're that's saying it. it's what Neville and Cody Rhodes should have been? Uh wait. Is, is that a thing that happened? Yeah, at some they did point? a whole superhero thing when Neville first oh, came to. That was it yeah. was Stardust versus We're not Neville. Calling him Stardust. I well, it's because it. they relied on. He was can't Stardust. Make it. Nope. nope. No. Can't hear you. Oh well. It was Stardust versus Star Labs. Um. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. That was good. That was Deep good. Cuts. Deep cuts for you, comic book fans out there, mm-hmm. or CW watchers. Yeah. Yeah. All you Arrowverse folks. Um, I fall so, out. Yeah, I gotta yeah, get back. My, I gotta get back. So, once, so I'm done, once, I'm done, my, uh, once I'm done catching up on all of New Japan, I'll get back into Arrowverse from the last Sorg, season. Sorg, watch Elseworlds. Just watch it. It's three episodes. <laughs> okay. Just watch we'll, Elseworlds. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. It's very um, anyways, so, my review of Wrestle Kingdom in summary freaking awesome. What do you want me to say? I mean, like the top four or five matches? No, no, were no. Great, coming so. up. So, there was a lot of announcements. We know that, that Wrestle Kingdom will be two days next week, next year. Yes. Yes. Um, so get ready for two nights of sleeplessness. And I believe it's going to be a Saturday and Sunday. It'll be, it'll be a... F- oh. Is it? Will it be a Saturday and a Sunday or will be on. a Friday and a Saturday? I don't have a Rusev <laughs> Day calendar to check anymore. Oh, Rusev. At least not accurately. Hey. Rusev. There are more Rusev days. Are Where, Rusev days over? Where's my calendar? Where is the replacement for the calendar, Sork? Where's the replacement for the calendar? I don't have a replacement for the calendar. Oh, that other one? I don't think... Was I allowed to show that one? I don't know. I don't, but didn't want to get anybody in trouble, so I didn't want to put know. that in okay, where people fair. could see it walking by, okay. and somebody happens to work for a three-letter company and says, "Why the hell is that doing there?" And they get fair. somebody in trouble. That's you fair. know, uh, Cobra Moon released a calendar. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm still waiting for the Sexy Fireman calendar. Uh, it's Sexy Cobra Moon will work too. Sexy though. Cobra Moon will work. <laughs> is she like, like, is there is it Cobra Moon Day every day? Uh, uh, take a look at this calendar, and you'll believe it's Cobra Moon Day every day. It's the year of the <laughs> serpent, Sorg. I thought it was the year of the man. What year well, is it's it? It's also the year of the man, but I'm talking Chinese year. What day is Wrestle Kingdom? <laughs> <laughs> in 2020. It's the 4th and the 5th. I know that. Hold on. I'll, I'll hold up a calendar. By the way, it's, it's the 4th it's, and the 5th, so I'll still end up missing it. Next yes. I, I just they remember. Yeah, there's a 3rd and the 4th. I'm going to settle this argument now. Yeah, you're right about that. Um, it's the year of the golden pig, actually. Uh, but you're right. A Wrestle Kingdom <laughs> has to be. <laughs> it is. Um, the fourth and the fifth is Saturday and Sunday in 2020. Woohoo! As two days at the Egg Dome, and Huzzah. I think they've said nobody has done a two na- two two day stand at the Egg Dome. Tokyo Dome. Tokyo Dome. In Tokyo, Tokyo Dome. Don't say the Tokyo Egg Dome. They don't like that. Why do apparently. they call it the Egg Dome? I don't think anybody's supposed to. Well, if you say the Fabergé Egg Dome, that's uh, in England. Uh, anyways, that's in France. <laughs> France. What do you think you. about because you know we've sat through some long ass WrestleManias? What do you mm-hmm. think about back to back WrestleManias, like Saturday Sunday WrestleMania? I mean, we already have Takeover. Split it into well, I mean, we well, already have on Friday. We already have. We don't need WrestleMania to be longer. That's a back to back WrestleMania. Right. Even Wrestle if you, if, if I tell you, okay, instead of a six hour WrestleMania, you're going to get 
back to back nights and you'll get like four hour, four hour WrestleMania. We don't need WrestleMania to be longer. No, 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 it's no, not no, going no. to be longer. It's going to be split you between two days. And it's not, hours or it's two the concentrate. Mike, we spent a full eight hour work day inside of the Superdome. So you're saying have watching a smack WrestleMania. Saying, Matt, if they broke it up into two days, each day would have its own two hour pre show. Yeah. I'm saying in an ideal situation, that would not happen. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're when has the are you down with this idea? Ideally, you get to sell out the Except you get to sell out a sixty thousand seat or two days instead of one. That's true. That's true. Okay, so look, okay, roll this back. So not only are they doing this, but they are going to make um, some inroads. One, they're going to have a London date. Mm-hmm. They're going to be in Nashville, and they are doing day one of the climax tournament. Mm-hmm. In Dallas mm-hmm. at the American Airlines Arena. Yep, Mark Cuban territory. Mark see? Cuban. Oh, Access TV, see? Oh, there Maybe. it is. Yep. That was it. It's there awesome. It Thank you for rolling that treat. all together. Uh, yeah. Plus Madison Square Garden, of course. Oh, my God. Yeah, and MSG. Jeez. That's a, they got to get right? this thing done with. They got to get something done with uh, the elite guys. That's get a, that cross thing going there because I, don't think I desperately need Tanahashi versus Jericho in the main event in MSG. <laughs> <laughs> I really need that. Um, is, but that a co- I, is that a co-brand already? Was uh, um, with Ring of Honor, isn't it? Ring of Honor got a Ring of Honor thing going on there a little bit. Mm-hmm. That might preclude any uh, enrollment from the elite guys. And maybe, but I mean, it's it's gonna be fine. And it's been interesting because I, mean, I I don't remember. Yo, know, there was all the free agent calls. Our friend DJ Z and uh friend uh, Shane Tyler uh, talking about his exclusive contract with Ring of Honor. Uh, the Beer City Bruiser was talking about his exclusive contract and, and you know, be able to do select indies and stuff. So I think there is like a move like, well, I, I hopefully everybody still plays together for the all in sequel. As I don't they did think the first going to. You think it's going to be all AEW? Like I think it's going to be all out war. I think it won't involve mm. Ring of Honor, but I think the I think there's still a chance of something between um, the elite and there could be an New NWA. Japan. There could be a ring of there honor. Could definitely there definitely be an NWA thing going we on. We have like three different companies represented at it at all in. Yeah, but is that does that change now? Right. I mean, we still have Impact Wrestling and Ring of Honor playing nice together. Yeah, that might be true. Maybe well, things change this next year. Who knows? No, but that's because Impact is desperate. I'm not going to get into that, <laughs> bit, but. Um, <laughs> No, I mean Impact. Impact is looking to play with someone because they need right. they need the extra exposure because right. Pursuit is a lesser network. Even though they are stream, they are going to be streaming free on Twitch and on the internet and everything. Mm-hmm. That's still good for them, but they do need the extra exposure. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Looks like Homecoming went pretty well this weekend. I've seen some awesome clips from that. Puppet didn't come out with the puppet did not come out with a gun, so already better <laughs> than the first time at the asylum. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, guys? <laughs> did, did anyone um, do inappropriate things with Francine? <laughs> I don't know. Did, was that part of that, too? Yes, it was. Mm. Mm. Um, if you're wondering what we're talking about, go back in the WMS archives on YouTube and find me and Eamon reviewing the first ever episode oh of DNA at the Asylum. Oh, boy. Um, yes. But yeah, I think at accessibility, you know, I mean, it's if you want to dive into stuff, and there's good stuff at Impact today and in the past, um, that then they're really kind of surfacing that. And, and it, it's good if you guys want to, want to catch up with an entire promotion uh, like that. So, all right. On that note, a lot of good. Look, see how little we talked about WWE? Isn't this nice, guys? It's awesome. We don't yeah, have to. We don't good. have to. It's not like Monday nights yeah. where I'm trying to turn that into a therapy session basically for you guys to just deal with things. and We get so all that negativity you just trying to get us to Monday, pay you so. for it? What? What? What was that, Mike? <clears throat> I, s- I said, are you just trying to get us to pay you to do the podcast on Mondays? Yes, yeah. and you can too if you want to support this. For just a dollar a month at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Also, some people help support us in pizza, like our good friends at Slice on Broadway at sliceonbroadway.com. Uh, and here in the Pittsburgh area, if you're visiting, please go check them out. They're here in Beachview on Broadway, the OG, the original, Carnegie, the East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, they've been supporting us for a good while. Thank you so much for those guys help feeding our guests here in the studio. Check them out, sliceonbroadway.com. And I know a lot of you guys are not in 
the area. If you have a Broadway in your town, help their massive expansion of Slice on Broadway. Take a picture of Broadway in your town and please tweet them at PGH underscore Slice. I still want this to happen. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for them for supporting the show. And uh, we are going to come back with the big question, the big 14th birthday question. And uh, then you're probably going to watch us eat cake. I don't know. I don't know what happens after that. We'll be right back after this. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. And um, I may be getting the entire... 6,000 piece Hogwarts castle at some Could point. you do a, wow. wow. Could you do a Lego podcast? Like, is that, uh, is that something? Mike, I would do a Lego podcast I, with you. I could probably piece it together. Oh! <laughs> it's just going to be 10 minutes of bad brick puns for. He's still in that. Po- <laughs> Jeez. By the way, that would be the title. Piecing it together. Piecing with it together with, with Mad, Mad Mike. Mike. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's one show idea. <laughs> Who knows? But this is the Wrestling Mayhem show. It's been 14 years. Happy birthday, guys. Oh, wait. Wait, does he? Does, does Matt have a noisemaker? Nope. <laughs> there you go. I'll have to fix that in post. Rabadoo! <laughs> but it's been 14 years, and at least a good amount of that. We've had a big question for that. And producer Missy actually came up with this week's question. And it's a two-parter. Yes. Bum, 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 bum. I, I, I have no shot of it. But is this so, essay? It's I an essay. I, I don't do essays. Uh, you don't do uh, essays. I'm gonna need, Multiple I'm choice of true or false. Book and yeah, number two pencil. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I love that. Like both, uh, both of you guys on the couch just like both looked over at her and then looked back in sync. Is this Scantron? <laughs> Scantron. Yes, it's a Scantron. Make sure you fill your circles with the n- number two. Um, do not write fully. a check or an X. No. Make sure you fill in no. the circles completely. Some of you guys are getting some flashbacks out there, like some SAT, <laughs> PSAD, PSA, PS, PTSD. P- PSAT, PTSD, yeah. That's, yeah, that's why I did that well on the SATs. Um, anyways, that's why I went to art school. Um, <laughs> damn it, I moved the thing and then my question went away. So, like I said, we've been at this for 14 years of podcasting and uh, everything. And uh, the question for this week, part one, who was your favorite wrestler when you were 14? I think, should we do one part at a time? Ooh. They did two parts. Okay. I didn't know if I wanted to weigh the first part. Part one, who was your favorite wrestler when you were 14? So a lot of thinking going on here. A lot of thinking a lot of going on here. A lot of math. Well, let's get that Ooh. in your head. We'll let you guys just get it in your head. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God, it. 1997. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. 14. What uh, was part two? I know who it wasn't. <laughs> there you go. And part two. Well, yeah, I didn't say part two yet. I know. We Patience. just said was part two. Patience. Oh, fine. Make a match you'd want to see with that wrestler who was your favorite at 14 and someone from today's roster. Oh, so, I got this. So one for today's roster or our favorite from today's no, roster? Well, well, your favorite from when you were 14. Oh, and oh I got someone, this shit on lockdown. Anyone and for someone today's. from today's roster. <laughs> okay. All right, Mad Mike? Yeah, I got this shit on lock. All right, so... Um, <laughs> oh, uh, the questions are amazing right now. All right, the, when, the, uh, when, when, when young Mad Mike was, was a mere 14, uh, it, was, it was the year of... Not the man, 1997. And my favorite wrestler then was basically who my favorite wrestler is now, but he was a bit more, shall we say, degenerative. That would be Shawn Michaels. Okay. Now, who I would match up the 1997 Shawn Michaels with today? Oh, and a a young Irish gentleman by the name of Rick O'Shea. (laughs) That's what I'd want to see. I'd watch that. 97 Shawn Michaels versus Ricochet. That that oh, that's Wow. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, that oh, that'd be oh god, that'd be really good. Hmm. That'd be real real fun. Okay. All right. Is anybody else like, I one? could just see Ricochet do a triple flip into a china low blow. <laughs> 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 and now you all are picturing it and you're welcome. Ah, that'd be good. Oh. Maybe we can do it on Fire Pro. 
<laughs> you got one, Matt? I'm, I'm trying to calculate. This is weird, all right? Yeah. Because I'm trying to remember, like, it's very hard for me to, like, dial in on, like, who my favorite wrestler was from, like, when I was that young. Because I didn't really have, like, a hardcore, like, favorite wrestler. But I remember that um, around the time I was 14, I believe it was around the time when uh, when Savage was trying to get out of retirement. Mm-hmm. Um and then something, uh, the, the Jake the Snake, snake it tried to eat him. Um, all very traumatizing stuff. And then, like, The Undertaker came in there somewhere. So it's one of those three guys. Uh, so just for the sake of being interesting, I'll say my favorite was... Uh, my favorite was... Do those was three guys against the Shield, just, Matt. Yeah, yeah, I would probably just... Just give me all three of those guys. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> and put him against the new day. No, um, <laughs> you know what? You know, what? I'll take it. You know what? That sounds good. Uh, Honestly, Jake the Snake, the, the Macho Man, man? <laughs> and the Undertaker versus versus the New Day, the new day. Um, the with the Snake and Elizabeth amazing. in their corner, and Paul Bear and the Urn. Um, that's a lot of extra baggage, but like literally, okay. like literally, literally. Yeah. Wow, that's good. I want to see. I want to see Jake the Snake Roberts cut a promo on the new day. Wait, I want to know Missy's, and we'll give her one. I want to know Missy's, and she she put this question out there. Um. Anyways, uh, Larry, do you have one yet? I do, and it's kind of sad. Oh no! So when oh, no. I was fifteen or fourteen, the year was two thousand five. You and fucking young my, <laughs> And my favorite what wrestler. What do you see some of these in the chat? <laughs> I know. Some of these are like, what? My favorite wrestler. So one was, year before the Wrestling Mayhem show. Yeah. My favorite wrestler was Eddie Guerrero. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this he, is hypothetical. This is hypothetical. Yes. Okay. Uh, the, well, so he was only alive for like five months of me being 14. Okay. Because <laughs> he All died right. like five months later. Okay. Um, That's fine. But I would go with Eddie Guerrero. Versus Samoa Joe. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's I good. That. I want that. Well, that's, I want that. Yeah, that's, that's real good. I yeah. like that. I like that a lot. I wonder if that happened on the Indies somewhere. Oh. No. no if he didn't have much time on the Indies, no, that's right. He would have, yeah. I mean, he had that time off kind of thing, and, and who knows. Eddie and, Guerrero did fight Danielson on the Indies. He did. He did. In his, in his brief time off. Yeah. He did a spot with IWC here. Everybody keeps asking me for the tape, and I'm like, man, I don't have that. It's from like 2001. Yeah, yeah. I might that oh, might have been the Daniel. Man. Eddie and Joe. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd be really good. No, Joe. I now. could just see Eddie coming out for low rider, and Joe like choking him while the car was bouncing because <laughs> he was hiding in the back seat the whole time. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Wow. So I'm doing the math on this, and I'm realizing we're talking about 1995 for me. Here's a fun fact. I wasn't watching wrestling in 1995. Oh. I was on a hiatus. Oh. I believe. So I would have to default to, <laughs> if you ask me who my favorite wrestler would be in 1995, Hulk Hogan. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, brother. Uh, Sorg. So Sorg. wait. So so let's go to 1995 Hulk Hogan. First of all, let's clarify that. And okay. if I that wanted, doesn't make it better. <laughs> Yeah, that's like wait, 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 uh, on, that's was, like that's like skinny Hulk Hogan. Like was that Sorg, going to WWE? Was, 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 was that when he was on the juice or off it? He's off it. I'm defaulting right? he's, to my he's favorite. Never been off Listen, it. I'm defaulting to my favorite wrestler at WrestleMania nine. Okay, no, that's fine. Mm-hmm. At that's this fine. point, fair. That's where Sorg, I'm at. That's where I I'm at. I have a humble suggestion for your man. I have a black, like I, I have I have a hole <laughs> in my wrestling. Poor <laughs> choice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, am, I have a hole in my wrestling viewing, and that's why I catch up. And I'm like, what was WrestleMania 11 like? I, I see I didn't miss much. Nope. Um, <laughs> and I didn't have cable, and I came back, and I'm like, oh, Hulk Hogan's here. And I know these guys, and I, I know who Razor Ramon is. And that was me coming back and into wrestling and watching WCW 1996 when we got a satellite dish. Um, Prime Star, man. Uh, but anyways, so, so if I have... Um, <laughs> If I have um, Thunder in Paradise, Hulk Hogan, um, <laughs> and because uh, I remember I found the videos, yeah. I started watching those. Oh, I love it. That's um, great. That's a great way to perfectly <laughs> describe that era of Hulk Hogan, Thunder in yep, Paradise. Thunder, Thunder, Paradise. Thund- Thunder in Paradise, Hulk Hogan. I would like to see him have a match today. Velveteen Dream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Actually, yes. Yes. That works for me. 
That works for me. Yes. The showman of all showmans that 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 made wrestling in the eighties, and then you could say kind of re remade it. It was part of remaking it in the nineties, in the late nineties. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. You can't deny it against uh, Velveteen Dream. Let's make it happen. You know. Book it. Who else? Who else is going to put on the show the Velveteen Dream with these days? Yep. Our truth. Oh. You know what? <laughs> Man's I'm, a hell of an answer. You know what? I'm changing my answer. When, when is someone going to dust off Aww. like 2002 R Truth? That's what I want to know. You know what? They did today <laughs> on SmackDown. <laughs> I'm going to give you a three way. They dusted him Hulk off Hogan on SmackDown today. Against Velveteen Dream and R Truth. Well, Sword, you could do a tag Hogan and Brutai against. No, 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 no. Brutus doesn't <laughs> come anywhere near this. Match. This has got a lot okay. of undertones. I, even, and... even, you know what? Even at WrestleMania 9, I was looking at Brutai sideways, okay? <laughs> well, so was he. He had the big face mask on. And so is Hulk because he had the black eye. Anyways, what is it from the chat room? Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, what, Hold on. Oh, you have one? one? You have the chat room for me? Okay, but you don't have a microphone. Misty, do you have, do you have a Are favorite wrestler? Shot? Do you have an answer? Yeah, you have to have an answer your since this is your question. favorite wrestler when you were 14 years old five years ago? And who do you want them to face now? You don't tell. You don't ask a woman. <laughs> yeah, the women are she was for this question. <laughs> All right, here for, and while she's working on done. that, maybe we should come up to the to the mic uh, from the chat room. Alex Carter says Drew Carey versus Marco Stunt. Stop it. <laughs> God damn it. Ty Cross says um, Benoit and Edge were almost a tie for him, but Benoit was active, and uh, then so Benoit. For him there, but against who? <clears throat> oh, hold on. I, I, I'm going through. So I, some people were working oh, okay. through the first part oh, okay. of the question okay. as we were doing it. So uh, Alex Carter says Drew Carey versus Lucha House Party. Uh, <laughs> just Dave, what the? Why is everyone's favorite wrestler Drew Carey? No, they're both. That, that, that that's both old. Alex Cars. Oh, okay. All right. Dave Potter says part one, 1987 Hulk Hogan. Part two, Hogan versus Velveteen Dream. There you go. I didn't yep. even see that in yep. there. Tina Keys uh, says, oh, man, Shawn Michaels versus EC3. Oh, Ooh, I like that, too. Um, I would arm on. I wonder what Shawn could get out of EC3. Oof. Oof. Um, amazing. So much. <laughs> Alex is. Miller says CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles versus Adam Cole. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. Okay. Just, just watch ROH in like 2009. This is true. This is true. All there Honor at the Club, same baby. Time. Honor Club, baby. Uh, Bob, Bobby F. J. Town says 1994 Razor Ramon versus Finn Balor. Yep. I, I, I thank you everybody for like I, I didn't think this. You started this with Shawn Michaels, like the Shawn Michaels of this year, right? You got to specify with Shawn Michaels. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's that's good because again, Tina Tina says uh, 1996. Because you can also shame the really young people. Sh- sh- uh, awesome. T- Tina has <laughs> has 1996 Shawn Michaels versus EC3, and also Davy Boy Smith versus Keith Lee. Mm-hmm. I'll take Ooh, both of those. Not bad. Jen Carlin's 1992 <laughs> Razor Ramon. Yep. And 2019 Balor. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Ty Cross says also AJ and Brian are obvious choices, but imagine O four Benoit versus today Drew back Drew Drew McIntyre. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yes. that'd be good. That'd yep. be amazing. That'd be interesting. <laughs> Alex, Alex Carr says, oh, 2002 Brock Lesnar versus current Brock Lesnar. <laughs> 2002 oh Brock Lesnar would Brock whip Lesnar current Brock Lesnar's ass. <laughs> 2002 Brock Lesnar would throw current Brock Lesnar down a flight of stairs <laughs> and laugh. <laughs> What's up, Zach? Um, anyways. Did we ever find him? What, Gowan? Yes. We, I, I'm just not. <laughs> Sorry, I'm never going to not use that I joke. find I'm him at sorry. least one, once a year when his dot .com needs renewed. <laughs> I'm, I'm never going to not use that joke. Damn it. <laughs> anyways, there was a shout out there. Speaking of. One of the answers here, our good friend that Occupy Pro Wrestling um, is uh, doing something special. Um, so uh, helping out Marco Stunt at uh, LA uh, Joey Janela's LA Confer- 
confidential. Uh, we saw uh, that uh, he had an injury and uh, injured in the match and had surgery to repair a broken leg. Uh, he looks to make a full recover, but seeing as uh, Errol, they both uh, share Nickelode uh, love for Nickelodeon crossovers, Occupy Pro Wrestling is looking to help with 100% of all proceeds from their merch at What a Maneuver and Shop.OccupyProWrestling.com. We'll go to their buddy Marco. Uh, from now through the end of January. You can still get on top of that uh, right now, so please go check out. And again, a lot of great merch over there uh, from our friend Alex Cars at OccupyProWrestling.com, especially if you're, depending on, and now we know ev when everybody was 14, if you were 14, if you said 1996 uh, uh, Shawn Michaels, for instance, <coughs> you'll probably dig some of the stuff that's going on over here at, shop at, at OccupyProWrestling.com, including some Friends-themed uh, gear, some, uh, let's say, some Nickelodeon, some Rocco's Modern Life themed gear as well wrestling explains it all and legends of the lucha temple go check it out shop.occupyprowrestling.com sorg sean phoenix is in the chat room he says that shirt looks good on you there you go represent represent i like wearing shirts with other people's skulls on them me too it's very oh yeah you, you too yes look i love we're both wearing injury themed t-shirts Mhm. Mm that's right that's right. Pretty severe. Both both concussion theme too. Concussion. Uh, is concu was there a concussion? I thought like I that's the only thing he didn't get. Really? Hey, how about head trauma uh, themed? I, I, okay. Okay. And I can't believe we're having this argument. <laughs> it's, a, it's more it's of an argument. Yeah. It's a, it's a friendly. It's a friendly. Um, um, I don't know. Uh, producer Bissig is trying to talk to me. I have two more comments. Are they in the? All right, Bobby. Bobby has a runner-up, and uh, the runner-up is Barry Horowitz versus Kurt Hawkins. Your favorite was Barry Horowitz. Bobby, I'm sorry. Come wait, on, man. your second friendly with Fran your second. Uh, it was that brief moment where he got the push, wasn't it, Bobby? And and producer Missy, <laughs> is this one yours? Yes. And then hers is Macho Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready? Yes. Ready? Yes. Versus Bobby Roode. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Good match. The, yep. the, the, well played. The capes alone. Yes. The capes mm -hmm. alone. Oh, yeah. And can it be, can we just put this out there? Can it also be refereed by Magnum CK? Mm-hmm. Yes. There you go. Got it from I'm trying to think what my second runner-up would be. That's okay. You have Twitter to tell that. Oh, Sean said he did get a concussion, but not a bad one. He did get a concussion, not a bad one. Because I knew they were like, like kind of checking Ibushi. on that. Like Kota Kabushi. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Just like the greats. Uh, <laughs> um, it wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that it wasn't bad. That bad. It wasn't Bullet that Club bad. is fine, guys. Bullet Club is fine. Bullet Club is fine, guys. <laughs> Bullet Club's never been better. <laughs> really? Come on. Really? All really? uh, right. I won't say that, but really? you know what? I've got, I, I'm, I'm got. I, I, I am, I'm liking them right now. So. I'm concerned about Bullet Club as a concept. Are the Tomatonga is a scary Bullet dude. Bullet Club is fine. So Tomatonga They've is still back got in the two Club. original members in that thing right now. They, that is true. They, they're, they're, go, they're going strong. That is true. That is true. What, what ever happened to uh, the little sub-faction? Uh, the machine gun, the elite? No, 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 no. 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 The, uh, the other one, that the the Samoans. You know, really when the Tongans left the Bullet Club. Oh, the Tongans left the Bullet Club, but then the Tongans decided, "Hey, wait a minute, we invented this, so we're coming and we're taking this you back." Guys, you guys need to leave the Bullet <laughs> yeah. Club. And you, we, we don't have to wait, leave. Wait you minute. need to leave. Yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, what what happened to Haku? Yeah. Guys, what <laughs> happened to Haku? He's driving Where's around Daddy that Haku? truck that rock got him or whatever. What? I have a question. up whatever he wants to. I have a question. Haku does what he wants. Haku was actively in the ring during Dominion. Does he qualify for Mayhem Mania? Oh. Uh, yeah. Was this your big question that you wanted to ask him? No, this just came to the top of my head okay. because Haku was brought up. Yes. I, 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 wouldn't, I have no grounds to reject Haku. All right. Yeah, he's not signed anywhere. That's right. Watch Haku. out, Bart Gunn. you got some competition this year. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, Bark Gun versus Haku. No, yeah, I would not be surprised if there's not a Bark Gun rule this Bart year. Bark Gun versus Haku in a Brooklyn Brooklyn uh, brawl. There was a Bark Gun rule after he made that rule. Yeah, yeah there kind of was afterwards. Yeah, there. There was. Anyways, guys. I, I promise never to use Bark Gun for wrestling or for Mayhem Mania again. Oh, that was the other thing. Billy Gunn is the first announced producer on AEW. What? He's like, like how, like how Road Dog is. No, I know what a yeah. Why? Yes. What? Billy Gunn. <laughs> Larry's like, I know oh, what a producer. Oh, Larry. Is. Oh, you didn't know? 
<laughs> wow. Man. Oh, and that's why we Man, you're asked better call somebody. <laughs> Can you I, tell him a dad? I tip, <laughs> I tip my headphones to you. There you go. Oh, oh the wrestling God. podcast. Like we've been around so long, we're just gonna be the dad joke wrestling podcast. <laughs> we're getting there. Sword, yeah. sword. Speak for yourself. Started as the dad joke wrestling podcast. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, it has been 14 years of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. A lot has happened. The first night we were celebrating the uh, the live sex celebration of uh, Edge uh, of, of Edge and uh, uh, Lita, for instance. Um, that was a big thing back then. But I thought it'd be interesting to look back, and I found. Um, what were the big notable things in 2006? And there's a lot oh, we weren't boy, covering. We there's a lot we weren't covering back then. For instance, I don't think we were paying a lot of attention to New Japan Pro Wrestling. 2000. 2006. Oh, the first year that we did this. And in 2006, in January, Shinsuke Nakamura was in a singles match for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship against Brock Lesnar. Oh, oh, I rem- I, I've heard about this. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it didn't end well for Shinsuke. Did, no, uh, he did retain. No, no, no. Brock, yeah, Brock defeated Shinsuke to retain. That's right. That's right. Oh, wait. So Brock Lesnar was winning matches he probably shouldn't have? Mm-hmm. Boy, how things have changed. Brock <gasps> Lesnar was never defeated for that title. Really? Yep. And that's what's going to happen with the Universal title, guys. So, wait, mm-hmm. so you're, you're saying that... Uh, Nothing Tanahashi has is the interim t- champion. Yes, everybody's the interim champion since. If you're looking for the linear title holder, I mean, Brock is unbeaten in an eternity. So, oh wait, Goldberg well, no, beat him. Yeah. So oh, Goldberg. Yep. Did, oh yeah. So Goldberg went no, then Brock beat him back. Then Reigns beat. Him. Yeah. Roman Reigns. So Roman Reigns. So Roman Reigns is the linear. And then he dropped the title. He's it's, so so it possibly. You could make the argument that Roman Reigns is the linear WWE well, and IWGP heavyweight not champion. Not necessarily right because Brock had other matches between 2006 and SummerSlam. But did he lose any of them? Uh, yeah, he lost to Triple H. Oh, crap. Of course he lost to Triple H. Of course he's good. <laughs> <laughs> the cake is out for you guys on audio. <laughs> I, I kind of I gather that. But yeah, he lost to Triple H. Um,. He lost to Seth Rollins, technically. He lost to John Cena. He didn't technically. No, he, no, was, he wasn't no, beaten. Roman right. Reigns lost right. to Seth Rollins. Let's go. Some more interesting stuff. In yeah, Feb- let's talk about some In February else. of 2006, while we were just probably still talking about you know, Royal Rumble or whatever, um, over in TNA, I think we were interested in TNA at the time probably, in that, in the main event of Against All Odds in Orlando, Christian Cage defeated <laughs> Jeff Jarrett to become the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. The NWA World Heavyweight Champion. I heard is... that was an instant classic. Did Christian tell you that? Mm. You know, that ended up being a good move for Christian, that he went over there. Oh, no, absolutely it was. Yep. He came back, and he ended up getting a couple world title runs mm-hmm. WWE. He was, a, he was able to kind of grow into things, because things just weren't working for him at yeah. WWE. So he got, you know, got out of the edge of shadow for a little bit, and mm-hmm. got to do stuff, and... and really kind of expanded Mm -hmm. also in ring of honor at the time which i know we were barely paying attention to generation next austin aries and roderick strong defeated aj styles and uh, matt seidel to retain the roh tag team championships and now you could rearrange those and have a WWE versus tna match uh not entirely kind of kind of ish Ish. it's pretty close six months ago you could have yeah Oh, uh, let's see what else is going on here. Um, there was a lot. Of, man, I wish. Can I just watch all this stuff? Some guy named Kenta. Who's that guy? And oh, I'm going to massacre this. Nao Minchi Marafuji. Marafuji. Thank you. Defeated Samoa Joe and Brian Danielson at Best in the World. Hmm. Brian Danielson defeated Roderick Strong to retain the ROH World Championship. Meanwhile. On World Wrestling Legends, what? Who? Scott Steiner defeated Buff Bagwell in the main event. Oh boy, oh boy. Where was that? Where did that happen? Where did that happen? That happened in Orlando, Florida, at the of World Wrestling did. Legends pay per view. Um, that's not the ill-fated one we've heard about, is it? Like the one with the uh, the Jake 
pulling his penis out or something. It could be, actually. And there's also WrestleMania 22 where John Cena defeated Triple H. And a young CM Punk made his debut. He did as one of the gangsters for um, Cena's uh, entrance. Kind of the genesis of the Boo John Cena movement right there. Is it? A little bit. Hmm. It's actually in the notes here on the Wikipedia page is C- CM Punk's debut. Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tina says, holy fuck, Brian Danielson and Mara Fuji. It was a brutal match final battle of that year. There you go. So honor club guys, go ch- go look out the back uh back uh deal there. Um lockdown. You ready for this? You ready for this? Lockdown. Hold on, hold on. Sword, sword. Give us one half of it of lethal lockdown. Of lethal lockdown? See, yeah. Oh jeez. Um I don't know. The the you know the okay, Jeff Jarrett's army. <laughs> oh boy. It's Jeff oh, Jarrett, boy. Scott Steiner, Chris Harris. Okay. And James Storm. Okay. The, do you want to know who the, the lead person on the other side was? I'm assuming it was Christian. It was Sting. Oh. oh Sting's boy. Warriors. Now, who who, oh. who is Sting teaming with? Oh, man. Hint. Everybody works for WWE now. <laughs> That's great. And other hint, we have definitely talked out, talked about two of the three of these guys. Oh, man. Tonight. Uh, I'll, say, I'll say Bobby Roode. Nope. No? Styles. Styles. Joe. Okay. Nope. Angle. Nope. I, I can't do this to you guys. All right. Ron Killings. Oh, oh, R-Truth. Yeah. And Rhino. Rhino. Killings Rhino, was a geez. champion there, wasn't he? He was. Killings was the NWA awesome. champion. He was an NWA heavyweight champion. We talk about the 10 pounds of gold. R-Truth has held that belt. So is Ken Shamrock. Sh- So his and there ain't up. no shame in either of those things. Also, mm-hmm. Rhino and Raven. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I don't think they have. That was uh, that year or the year before, I think. Raven? I thought he had it. Maybe uh-huh. not. He fought I don't for think it. So. You, oh, you might be right, but he fought for it. All right. So that gives you an idea what was going on 14 years ago. While we were doing, what is hustle? Who would have guessed that TNA would still be around 14 years after that? Well, technically, TNA isn't around. You know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's there's a company, but that always gets so fishy. That, that was always the worst branding. And I don't know if leaning into the Impact Wrestling really did anything for anybody at that point. Like, the people that bought them are kind of stuck with that name. It's almost like they made a bad deal or something. <laughs> What's that? You need to check your Nope, I'm ignoring that. Oh, sure. Nope. Uh so anyways. Um no, we've been at it for a long time here in Wrestling Mayhem show. Um <laughs> uh, but uh there's cake. We got noisemakers. I don't know what you do for your fourteenth birthday otherwise. Um you try and look at boobs, Sorg. Oh, well, we tried that day one. <laughs> well, we did see Jaguar cheerleaders today. We did see Jaguar cheerleaders today. So, I'm glad um, we're going. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Sorg, um, I have a surprise. You do? Yes. Is it made of Legos? No, it's okay. better. Okay. Um, so I knew it was our birthday. Mm-hmm. I wanted to do something special. Mm-hmm. I wasn't sure if I had access to this, but apparently I do. Um, I looked up a Juggalo Jamie email. Oh, no. <laughs> Explain Juggalo Jamie to the uninitiated. Uh, so Juggalo Jamie was someone who used to email in every week, mm-hmm. usually to Lunchbox. Mm-hmm. And um, grammar, questionable. Content, questionable. Pretty much everything about Juggalo Jamie was questionable except his love of the Wrestling Mayhem show. Um, so, so Sorg, would, would you like me to read this Juggalo Jamie email? Absolutely. Okay. Um, Larry, Matt, uh, if you have not been initiated, I apologize ahead of time because I'm going to read this exactly as it's written. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, this is from 
Saturday, June 26th, 2010. It was also sent at 4.07 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So right before. That, that, that's important for the email, I think. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, holy fucking fish tits, LB. I'm back. I don't know what day it is. It's been a crazy time since I last emailed you. I graduated high school. I got my grade 12, bitch, and I don't know what I picked for college. Also, I don't want to know. I have been writing a lot of song and some lyrics that are fucked. I haven't watched any wrestling in months, so I don't know what the fuck is going on. But even if I did, I, would I really know what's going on? Nopes. If it's not the other male, it's some fucking five-year-old, maybe two from Texas, Marx's P.S. I have been drinking, fuckers. And that's the Juggalo Jamie email. Where is Juggalo Jamie now? I don't know, man. Uh-oh. I moved that we should get Juggalo Jamie on this podcast for the 15th birthday. We wanted to. Well, the, the, I, Sorg, I, I, so, Sorg, so I think unfortunately, you just take, the, take one of his old emails and respond to him and see if he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. If, if Juggalo Jamie is alive or not incarcerated, we need to get them on this podcast. I predict... Juggalo Jamie is a lawyer somewhere. A very successful <laughs> oh, yeah. lawyer. Juggalo Jamie is in the current White House administration. Would it be interesting? <laughs> you know, it would be interesting if the Juggalo Jamie was the Juggalo lawyer on Facebook. Juggalo Jamie is really Jerry McDivitt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so it was brought to my attention that my math is wrong. Uh huh. This is our 13th birthday. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know, Sorg. I stand by my favorite wrestler. <sighs> I got to reevaluate It's okay. Things. My favorite wrestler is still Shawn Michaels in 96. So. That's still. That's cool. Oh, so, so we got two years to find Juggalo Jamie? That's a good amount of time. <laughs> what, was, what was Eddie oh, Guerrero doing oh, in Alex, 2004? Uh, Sorg. Alex was, in the was chat room says he misses. He was still active. Was that WrestleMania what was that? What was that, Mike? Uh, Al no, Alex no. in the chat room says he misses big PPC. Big PPC. Oh, that was one for a long time. Do you remember what his email address was? Maybe I can find. I don't remember. No, too. I'm sure if you just type Big PPC, it should be. I'm. I'm. You know what? I'm good. Oh, that's the one that like now. um LB would read it in Russian. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For some reason. Yeah. We play the Tetris theme in the background while you were doing it. Oh, yeah, that happened. Oh, uh, good times. Hold on. You know what? They were doing the Los Guerreros in 2004. I'm going to still say he's still my favorite Okay, wrestler. good. Uh, you don't have to adjust your thing. We can just go with that. 14-ish. Let's we'll say 14-ish birthday. Uh, but seriously, this has been uh, an awesome ride for you guys. Oh, uh, my God. Okay, go ahead. I found one, but man, is it long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just give us a couple. How much a couple bars here? Oh, boy. Um, all right, I'll just read the first paragraph. <laughs> The first paragraph? The first, the first par There's a lot of paragraphs. Okay. Uh, and then I, I will uh, just make references <laughs> to the, to the uh, people that are mentioned in the rest of the email. Cars already knows the punchline for the email. So that's pretty funny. <laughs> yes. I love it. Uh, so, hey, 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 Mayhem. Hey, hey, hey. It's the longest reigning emailer to Mayhem Show. It's me. It's me. It's big BBC. I, I was trying to do the accent. Uh, Lawler came back on Raw. Great to see Lawler back. Punk and Heyman did a great job, whether you thought it was good or not. I thought that Lawler should have returned at WrestleMania. Not yet. So having Punk act... Uh, this, all right, this, all right, basically, he talks a lot about um, different pay-per-views. Mm -hmm. He mentions Little Jimmy. Mm -hmm. uh, he mentions Brad Maddox. Wow. And he says balls in Maddox's mouth. I think he was a prophet there. Um, wow. Uh, he talks about Colin Delaney, but he spells it wrong. Mm. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, Seamus versus David Otunga, a.k.a. Clarence Mason on steroids. <laughs> um, there, he makes a Kerwin right reference. Wow. Yeah. Oh, and then he goes into TNA pay-per-view thoughts. Uh, Devon versus Kurt Angle. Good match, I guess. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and apparently... Joey Ryan versus RVD on TNA pay-per-view on a TNA pay-per-view. Whoa. Wow. 
Yeah. Oh, and uh, and Gallows or Doc versus Joseph Park, aka you know Abyss. <laughs> oh man. Oh, wait, so, wait, wait, wait. So, Kurt Angle versus Devon on a pay per view. Mm. Yep. Is that the Aces uh-huh. and Eights right there? I guess. I assume this was around Aces and Eights time. Wow. It kind of looks like it. Like Aces and Eights was not that bad. Remember when we're like. People were like, when is this going to end? Like, the Ace of Spades was going on forever. <laughs> it's like, so I re- gone. I remember flipping over to Spike TV mm-hmm. randomly one day. And Back see- when there was a Spike TV. Yeah, and seeing TNA with a six-sided ring, and I thought, what the fuck is this? And turned it off. Mm. So first impressions is what you're saying. Yeah. Uh-huh. That was the last time I saw TNA before... <clears throat> Well, I, that was the last time I saw TNA. <laughs> wow, nothing against the wrestlers, but yeah, it it didn't it didn't stick. Um, Alex is saying big PPC, PPC is the reason he tried to write uh, emails as El Gran Azul. It just wasn't the same. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you were El Gran Azul you the were whole El time? Gran Azul? What? You, what? Hey, Sorry, did you really not know this? I thought that was Garza. <laughs> wow, that's racist. I think. Whoa. Anyways, no, it's been a good time. What, Larry? Don't shake your head at me. It's been a good time. I think Garza would have laughed at that one. Like literally, literally, like two two people sitting here. I know because of this show. So you guys started as fans. No, not Larry. Yeah. No, uh, Larry. Larry's because of other people. Oh, the oh. Yeah, yes, producer <laughs> Messi. Matt Larry's, beca- Larry's because we dreamed him up when Dutters came to New York one time. <laughs> Oh, that's right. That that was a thing that happened. Yeah, that's why he's Larry. He's actually a construct. You're and the first time we hung out was in your parents' basement, watching John Cena get suplexed seventeen times. Oh, that was at that match. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, <laughs> that was your introduction because, because, because the room was divided between Cena fans and Lesnar oh, fans. that's right. We put the tape down the middle yep. of the room. And made Obi <laughs> sit on the one side. Yep, by himself. <laughs> All by himself. <laughs> All by himself. And shortly after, LB stopped watching wrestling. Oh, and everybody good. else jumped to the other side of the t- Well, no, we just put Cena and Lesnar on the one side of the tape line by themselves. That was funny. Jeez. No, nah, it's been a good time. Like I say I, I can I, honestly when I when I talk about everything we're doing with Sogertron Media and, and, and everything, um it's literally because of the show. And it's you know, that we've had the opportunities and the people that we've met, whether it be Mad Mike going to, you know, be frightened by Pentagon Junior that one mm-hmm. time, or mm-hmm. um, or or um, Rosa Mendez was sitting on that couch earlier today. This one, right, right where Larry is. You got the Rosa. You Mendes mean spot. Total Divas star Rosa Mendez? Yes, Total Divas star Rosa Mendez nice. was completely here hanging out with us today, um, and that will be the Indie Mayhem show this Thursday, actually. So did you ask her about Total Divas? We did talk about Total Divas a little bit. I actually okay. typically I usually ask what's the best and worst thing about indie wrestling. I asked what was the best and worst thing about Total Divas. Excellent. <laughs> Good so, job. Uh, I can't wait to see this. It's it's coming up. We have it in the can. She was in here for um, I guess I can say another project that we were working on. And okay. and since we had her in the studio, she was she was, you know, fortunate enough to have her for the Indie Mayhem show. So uh, it, 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 that's the weird stuff. Gary, Michael, Michael Gary Capetta was in my basement. <laughs> no, this is Sting guy <laughs> was in my basement and 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 wanted to come back despite he saw my basement. Uh, but obviously we had the studio now and everything. Um, you know, seeing stuff like you know, um, people. There would, are even more outrageous people who have been in your basement at this point. There are. There are. Yeah. DJ Z. Once did a baby Batista impression. Yeah. For uh, uh, during the wrestling mayhem show. He ate chicken wings uh-huh. on oh. your back porch. He ate chicken wings <laughs> on my back porch. That was oh. your experience. That was your introduction to him yep, as well. That was wasn't the first it? time I met DJ Z. That was um, the only time Al- I met Alex, DJ Z. Alex made the thigh maker shirt sorg. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where is it? Yes. Oh no. Hold on, hold on. I got oh, oh we my can see god. that. Look at that. Oh, oh my god. Wow. <laughs> 
What is that? <laughs> it's a that, thigh. That would be a thigh. Wow. That is that is a that is a chicken thigh. Wow. Oh, no. No, I did not ask what vegetable she was. Oh, remember when we just asked all the wrestlers what vegetable they were? Were you around or, for that or, era? Or yes. what kind of sandwich they would be? What kind of sandwich they would be? Um, we've had a lot of good times. It, it's been cool to see you guys. Sorg, like, Sorg, yeah. we've had a lot of what? Good, good times. times. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Um, seeing guys like Elias. Mm-hmm. Who we affectionately Shulo. yelled Shulo on the Shulo. show and at the and at the shows and everything. Um, it's been it's been pretty awesome. We had and even the awkward like, hey, let's talk to some bigger names like uh, that one Jimmy Snuka that I think thought we were a wrestling promotion. Um, the time we talked to Jerry Sags about uh, pissing on uh, trying to piss on Elvis's grave. Um, <laughs> that was a thing that happened um, when we we amazingly started talking to people from American Gladiators because Hulk Hogan was on it. Mm -hmm. So that made and because, sense. And because one of them was a stunt double for The Rock. We did not know that he was a stunt double for The Rock and The Rock's cousin. Although we should have known because he portrayed a Samoan, right? Um, yes. Until we were mid-interview with him. So uh, Toa. Nice. Something if Toa popped up in recent months, I feel. Just has him he been reincarnated as something else? As as The Rock too. Um The Rock Electric also. Hmm? The Rock also. The Rock also, yes. Maybe. So the Rock too. <laughs> you never know. Maybe okay. maybe like that thing that happens in wrestling with Samoans, like is now happening in Hollywood. Actually it probably has always happened in Hollywood, hasn't it? Like there's all they've always need like a Samoan for something, right? No? Like typecast? Maybe. Anything like Toa. that? Toa? Maybe. Are you looking up Toa? Toa Noe. Toa. Toa and Noe. Toa no oh, I know, I know I. so bad. I cannot do. Because I think he so, did use Toa the, the Noe name in it, didn't he? Reed. I guess it's technically. Oh, yeah, yeah right, right. Toa Noe. Reed. Uh, what are you up to these days? Stunt double for The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> He's that one that was all over Skyscraper, wasn't he? Making that impossible jump. Yeah. Yeah, oh of my course, God. The Rock the can't make it, but Toa from American Gladiators can. There was uh, um, Alejandro Estrada. Armando. Armando, Armando. Alejandro Estrada. I knew there was a word in there. <laughs> um, invited us down to his ill-fated restaurant for a sandwich. Um, the leader of Sanity, Eric Young. That's right. Uh, Eric Young was one of our early interviews as well. He was and, less... And we have a bumper from both The Miz and The Iron Sheik. We do. I need to dig those up again. Yeah, maybe. you really should. Because I... The Miz, like, straight out left a voicemail from Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Alex Cars. Don't forget Freight Train would be a string bean. <laughs> I kind of had to end it after that. String I can't, bean. I, uh, yeah, like after that, I don't think I could really ask anybody else the vegetable question because nothing else could be better. No, that's true. At that point. So <laughs> it's been a lot of fun, a lot of great projects um, out of this and everything. Um, but uh, And thank you, everybody, that's been still with us after these 13 years. So we're just a teenager. We're then. just a teenager. We're just a teenager. Everything, the world is new and confusing, oh, we're and, and we're really angsty. We're but getting hair in weird places. Hair in weird places. We sound like... <laughs> See, that's our voice getting squeaky, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, Sorg. Uh, yes? Where can people find some of the really cool stuff? People can find some of the really cool stuff and the people that we've worked with over at IndieWrestling.us, of course. Uh, one of the awesome things that we're able to do here um, since... I turned a button off from my keyboard, apparently. Um, and can't get to the notes where there's stuff for me to show you uh but no uh, new releases this week of course rise wrestling and uh a lot of other fun stuff including new revenge pro in erie guys i went to erie for wrestling again <laughs> they're, they're looking I good went, i went to your homeland I, you know what i lived in erie for a while yeah and there was no wrestling there you had to go like out of like out of the county to find wrestling. Now they've got we wrestling in the city. That's awesome. In the city, in the Avalon Hotel, right downtown. They have another show on February eighth, I believe. 
Um, and uh, uh, I know they have one in March as well, but I don't know if that date was out yet. So I'm not going to say it. Uh, but we've got a lot of content over there uh, from IWC, RWA, Rise Wrestling with a Y, um, as well as Premier Championship Wrestling, Angel Gate uh, Women's Wrestling, and Fight Society. So many from Pittsburgh, from Cleveland, and over on the network, of course, our friends BDW from West Virginia, um, as well as, you know, people still picking up the Legend of Virgil and the, and the, uh, and his, and his, uh, what the hell was the rest of it? It is magical merch table. Or Traveling whatever. merchandise Traveling table. Traveling merchandise okay. table. Wow, it's been so many years. This Hashtag. cake. What is in this cake? Um, I, I, I think it's <laughs> maple. Yeah, I think it is maple. Mm. It's been a day for maple. Uh, and so much more. Uh, yeah, that's why I said maple. We, we, we've had the fortune to be involved with a lot of really fun indie wrestling and even more here in 2018 as we roll into 2019 um, as well. I, I, I did the math. Nine promotions I've had the opportunity to work with, including Impact Wrestling. They're not on IndieWrestling.us, but still, uh, really. I've only yet. worked with one. What's that? I've only worked with one company. You've only worked with one company? Just one company. <laughs> yeah, yeah, only one company, Mike. I, too, have Just only one. worked with one company. You, oh, you did work with one company. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Has everybody here worked with a wrestling promotion like, and collected a paycheck? Via a wrestling promotion this year? No, no, I was working for you, Sorg. That's, does that count as working that, no, for? No, that, uh, that, that counts. That counts. That counts. I, was counts. Say, I have an RWA Sorg stock DVD that says that Sorg is a wrestling company. Wait, what? RWA Sorg stock? No, no, not um, just the Sorg stock DVD. I have it on my shelf. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, no, no, that counts. You completely did, and you almost got maimed by chairs. Yep. Yep. That was fun. I mean, it, who almost who didn't almost get maimed by chairs you can, this year? You can go see uh, uh, Matt Carlin's avoiding the chairs uh, over uh, that Lodi versus Ryan Edmonds match over on RWA Open Season, for instance. So, a lot of great stuff going on there. IndieWrestling.us. One of the great things that again is born of this show that we can do like the cool stuff that we're doing over there. So, guys, it's time to find out what did you learn from pro wrestling. Let's say recently. Producer Bissy in the corner has one. What are you, what are you doing over there? Math is hard. Math is hard. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, man. I math. I, I added a year. I wanted to be order. Daylight savings time. Daylight savings time. Daylight savings time is hard, right, Larry? No, it's Japan. Leap year. Leap year. Leap year? It's 14 years in Japan. Oh, Okay. Thank you. I'm that sorry. saves it. That saves it. <laughs> yes. Is, is that lady wrestlers rock? Says producer Missy. And people are starting to figure that out. And people are starting to figure that out. Yeah. Right, is that reference to the Britt Baker and uh, Brandy Rhodes stuff today? Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. All the um, uh, the the biggest stars in WWE right now are all women. Fact. That is true, despite mm -hmm. so few of them being seen on Raw this week. That's why we're going to get the Raw again. versus Ronda Rousey. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't miss. You didn't miss much. You didn't yeah. miss much. Um, Larry, what'd you learn from wrestling? Oh, fuck. Um, Mad Mike, what'd you I, learn? Oh no, you know what? I know what I learned. I learned that Japan starts their day before we do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I learned. That counts. That counts. That's what I learned. That counts. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Mad Mike, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Um, I learned that there is a new version of Mr. Sacco out there. Oh. If, if, you ha if you have the internet, you know what I'm talking about. You're talking about Tampon Gate. Yeah, sure. Okay. I, I don't know if there's an official term for it. There is a thing. So many... Did a spot with a tampon, and and again, it's a work. So it's basically Mr. Saka. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, well, uh... it's basically Mr. Saka. Is that your official stance? Do you see how deep Foley had to reach a lot of times for that sock? That's true. There was some from under. I was at the show on SmackDown, and Big E was keeping the pancakes in his crotch. That's right. right. They addressed exactly. this. They addressed this. They're and like, Joey Ryan has literally suplexed people with his penis. I'm going to say I don't have a problem with the move. No. I don't have the problem with the move. 
But the internet, you guys out there and the pros and whoever, you're allowed to hate it. You're allowed to hate it. You're allowed to think. But I think it's important to point out not all the pros hated it. That is, there were pros there out there, there who, you go. who saw and it for what you. it was and, and were okay with it. So, um, and it doesn't kill the business. It doesn't, no, this is, no, the, the business can... was killed long ago. Okay? Everyone believed like, that that was a real item that she pulled out. So it, <laughs> that's not killing yeah. the business. So in other words, that's making that people most, believe. So like, kayfabe is back. Kayfabe yeah. is back, Sork. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what we should call it. Instead of Mr. Sako, it's kayfabe. Mm. I wish we had a women's opinion on this, but I did not make Missy watch this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Do you want me to send me the link? I'll, I'll record. I'll record watching it. Oh, room. please yes. give me a Dutter's reaction on Dutter's this. Dutter's reaction video. Send me yes. the link. In fact, send me the link. Matt, also get a Jen reaction video. I'm sure Jen's already seen it, and yeah, she has not said it. anything about it. Still yeah, get sure. one anyway. It'll be great. That'll be good. That'll be sure, good. Gonna... We have some opinions. Um. But no, no, I think that's fine. Um, I learned don't trust somebody with their hands in their pockets in a wrestling ring unless it's Orange Cassidy. Yeah. Jeez. No Actually, this has been a week from hands in the pockets between Orange Cassidy and Sean Phoenix playing somebody on fire at BDW Sunday. Um, <laughs> Sean Phoenix lit someone on fire? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you haven't seen the gif? His name is Phoenix. Yes. What are you people not grasping about? I just thought he was the kind of kinder, gentler. And Keith Hodd is going to pluck out every feather. Every feather! Anyways, that's... Yeah, but it doesn't matter if he plucks out every feather because he's a phoenix. Wait, He will rise from the ashes. Did Keith Hodd get burned? Has anyone not read Harry Potter? And also, also, the Iceman Tony Johnson and Keith Hodd uh, tag team name is finally established. And it's icy hot. Excellent. Excellent. About damn time. <laughs> Anyways, uh, from the chat room, um, Alex Carr. How does Sean Phoenix not have a shirt that says "Go Fox Yourself"? Fox is the Phoenix from Harry Potter. I don't know. Sean, are you out there? Do you? Are you? Is that track for you? Um, somebody tag him in something. I, I think it works. <sighs> da 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 da. Sorry, going back to the chat room. Do do do. Oh, you have something? Yes. I would like to tell you what I've learned. Okay. Oh, sorry. I've learned. I learned that the um that the money man behind All Elite, Tony Khan, is worth more than Vince McMahon. Oh shit. He's worth six billion dollars. Yeah, he, he owns an NFL team. That's yeah. not difficult. Well, so just in case you're wondering what makes this different from past, you know, wrestling promotion startup ventures. Is it? That's what makes it different. How much did Ted Turner have? Ted Turner was successful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. If was he not? If Jacksonville Jaguars play, you, you'd argue that they're not successful. Well, <laughs> you know what? They went to the AFC Championship game last year. There yeah. Go. There you go. Mm. And how'd they do this what year? Are we doing How's your about- team going to do this weekend, huh? Let's talk about that while we're on this <laughs> no, topic. No, let's hey, not. Let's talk about hey, football real I quick. I have a team in the playoffs. Oh. 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 My team's drafted number five. We're hey, going to be great. He would he would have had a team in the playoffs if Cleveland would have played better. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Don't drag track. me into this no, shit. No, no, I ain't no, got no, no. no allegiance to no, that. No, no, no. We're, we're, we're mm-hmm. off track here. Tina Key says she learned that uh, I'm going to have to enjoy the desert in May, double or nothing. There you go. Yep. Alice Carr Oh, yeah. Learned... By the way, sorry, Tina. Ha, 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 ha. What? What? Why? What? My what? team beat your team. Oh, well, well, stop oh. the footballs. He just uh, said fuck the Cowboys. I had to respond. Ah, oh, jeez. Alex Carr has learned that wrestling promotion in 2019 is actually crazy enough to promise equal pay for men and women. Also, I learned that this has to be a thing, damn it. You know, it's still, come on, guys. Um, I think it makes sense when you think about some of the wrestling promotions, but yeah. I'm glad somebody's talking about it. I'm glad the conversation is happening on a bigger stage, uh, Mm -hmm. thanks to these guys today. So, Uh, Bobby FG Town learned that Daniel Bryan thinks that we're fickle, fickle, fickle. Also, (laughs) after Edge and Christian show, I wish the WWE would have gone through the Santino and Beth Phoenix show. Oh, when they were talking about doing like a a sitcom with them or something. Mm. And uh, Vladimir Kozlov is their wacky neighbor. Oh, you never know. You never know. They can still do that in season three. I would like to say something real quick. You brought up Larry. Dan- Larry, you, I, have you brought point. up Daniel Bryan and his fickle yes. stuff. Well, Alex did. Or you should not did. have somebody calling people impotent. <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> Talking about inspiring children in the same <laughs> promo. That mm. if you didn't see that promo at the beginning of SmackDown for Daniel Bryan, tonight? you got to go seek that out. The one tonight, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> it is really, really amazing. What the fuck? <laughs> he was on fire. <laughs> it's so good. All uh, right, uh, Dave Podner learned that guys in uh, Bullet, Bullet Club shirt can grill you at SmackDown if you wear a kayfabe shirt. I uh, yeah, I guess there were some T-shirt issues with the SmackDown tonight. Oh really? Yeah, some some of the uh, all AEW shirts were getting turned away. No way! But, uh, you know, it could have been for different reasons. I think they like, were tossing they merch out, so like a lot of people. Yeah, they're, oh, like, yeah. they're like a block away they, from the arena. They were yeah. giving out <laughs> flags. They had flags on poles. Oh no! <laughs> I, 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 I did see the report. WWE is monitoring the situation at the rally. Yeah. So it's like, wait, what is happening? It's here? just Vince McMahon in a baseball cap and sunglasses. Nobody, <laughs> nobody will notice me. Uh, <laughs> is that Neville? <laughs> I've seen that guy before. Don't, where I do I know him from? Where do I know him from? <laughs> is that um, Stardust? Aren't you supposed to be what on two five tonight? Wait, what do you mean we fired Stardust? Jeez. Oh, and there's who, football. who told him to dye his hair blonde? And in related news, Santino liked Bobby F. J. Town's tweet the other night. All right, guys. Thank you so much. This 13 years of Wrestling Mayhem show. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Inappropriate noisemakers. All right. Mad Mike is Mad Mike 483 on the tweets. Yep, I tweet about things and stuff and crap and things. There you go. And he is looking for ideas for that big white wall behind him. What should he fill yes. it with? Do you have options? Um, I will have options at some point. I may take an informal poll. There okay. you go. There you go. Larry, he does stuff in the basement. Where can you find the stuff <laughs> that you do in the basement other than the basement? Phrasing. Darkforgestudios.co. There you go. Mainstream Matt. Yes. One T on the Twitter. One T. Mayhem Mania is not that far away, Sword. No, two year, weeks away. Year? How many years? Anybody want to guess? I have no idea. Year five. No. Mayhem Mania. Are you sure? Are you sure? Did, did, you did, I'm I'm pretty you know sure. Means, right? you, I was sure. Um, let, like let producer Messi check ago, that. I was sure. You, you better find now out. I'm not so sure. She'll burn you. <laughs> you know what this means, I might right? have, like. In Japan, it's Mania? year five. But here, it's not. You know, it's like no, four and Matt, a half. you know what this means? What? The mega powers explode. <laughs> the mega powers will explode. You had a contest. I do. Okay, can I mention this real quick? Yeah, yeah. What's your contest? Okay, so we always like to do um, different um, things to kind of spice things up. So here's how uh, we're going to give away some eliminators very early in uh, Mayhem Mania. An eliminator is just a way to uh, for our players to eliminate someone from being used at all in Mayhem Mania this year because sometimes people get carried away. People get carried away. You can't hold me down, Matt. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so what we're going to do, Sorgi, we're going to have a Royal Rumble challenge. So yes. everyone out there within the sound of my voice, send an email to mayhemmania at wrestlingmayhemshow.com and send me three facts. One, winner of the Royal Rumble. Which one? Two, which entrant, which number entrant wins the Rumble? Three, which one is the marathon man or woman? Do it for both. Um, so, send, wait. so in total, send six facts, all right? Three for each, okay. right? Winner, entrant, uh, winner, entrant uh, number for the winner, and who is the longest person in the match, right? For the men oh, and for the women's goodness. rumble. You hit on one of them, I'll give you an eliminator. You can kick someone out, and we'll be like week two into Mayhem Mania at that point. So we have plenty of people to kick out at that point. All you got to do is hit on one of them. And you get six shots. It's like the lottery. Anybody can do this, Sorg. So get those entrants in and uh, Mayhem Mania at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Mayhem Mania like at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Mayhem Mania begins January 22nd. Hold on. Next week we January do January 21st if you're in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think it's shh. It's fine. No, it's the 22nd. January twenty second. You're right. January twenty second. Fourteen days from today. Yeah, and the rumble's on the twenty seventh. So you'll be, you know, we will be underway before the rumble. But 
It's good to get ahead of things. Next week, of things. next week we will have Ring of Honor announcer Joe Dombrowski joining us in studio again. Ooh, Ooh lovely. Mm-hmm. Which may be just a pre-show for Mayhem Mania. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I enjoy Mayhem Mania because then I don't have to book half the show. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I do. <laughs> I know. I know. Welcome to it. Do we, do we need Craziness. to get your pizza boxes ready? Yeah, I'm going to need some pizza boxes. What happened to the whiteboard? Where's the whiteboard? I have, You know what? I have a whiteboard downstairs. I'll bring one up. I, I've, I've been watching some old Mayhem Mania episodes. Yeah. You know, I there. think I may and just... And, like, get... some of the situations we've had in past years where there have been, like, you know, four different whiteboards and, like, Larry... <laughs> Larry and Chad With are holding notes. like each who got while our hands are full while we're putting post-it notes around and stuff like that. Oh my god! I'm gonna try to keep things, uh, you know, very very simple, very very organized, but still rules, Sork. There are rules mm-hmm. that have to be followed. That's right. You know, five years worth of rules. That's right. And uh, you know what? And, and just want to say in in closing, as we get ready and as people start to try to come up with your ideas, you know, and we say this every year, WWE has never had a deeper talent roster in their history than they do right now at this very moment. And if and, and, and look, and they are they are crap in the bed right now. Let's be honest about that. So we are gonna mayhem mania, mayhemers out there, mayhem mania this year. We are gonna bury WWE this year in the greatest sort of fantasy booking card you've ever seen in your life we are going to crush them with just absolute domination so crushing this crushing this i have yes. a second question yeah rick flair yes or no don't start with me <laughs> <laughs> i needed to know i need to prepare I, I no why he was medically cleared he retired shit he was oh. uh. he was medically cleared are you gonna do what was the other name you threw out there earlier? Rick Haku. Flair versus Haku. Rick Flair versus Haku. Is that what you're trying to book? In, is that where this is going? In an Iron Man match. In, well, no, in a, no stipulations. In a King of the Road match. Larry. I think I may just put a giant cork board up behind me with like thumbtacks and, and twine just for my mayhem mania plan. I'm just I'm just trying to put some ideas in people's heads for their eliminators. Hey, you know what? There, there's a game to be played, Sorg. Some people play it. Some people don't. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Guys, thank you so much. Thank everybody in the chat room. We will catch you again 9 p.m. Eastern time on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page. Until then, Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.